All right, we are back with another episode of Speed Runs from the Crypt. Hope you enjoyed Bargain Bin, because now we're going to the late night hours in the spookiest games. Uh, before we begin the show, though, I would like to remind everyone that Frame Fatales, the all-women speedrunning event, will be returning on August 15th to the 21st with Flame Fatales. Uh, game submissions for that will be open from May 18th to May 25th, so if you'd like to join that, uh, go to gamesdonequick.com slash Frame Fatales for more info on that upcoming event. Anyway, uh, today's show is going to be taking us all the way into some of the oldest roots of horror. We see many different types of games. We've explored many different series, is many different areas of horror. But one that people don't quite expect or, you know, kind of realize that it is horror is a series that's uh, very near and dear to me, but is uh, the series Ghosts and Goblins. Also known as our uh, show today, Ghosts, Goblins, and Ghouls, oh my. So I hope you enjoy that one. But, yeah, uh, people don't really realize that Ghosts and Goblins was actually started off as a horror franchise. It had the same director as the original survival horror game, Sweet Home. So there's a lot of fun with that, and it's a very weird area to see horror on an NES and SNES platforms, and even in the modern day. We'll be looking at a few different games today, and also some of the highest, like, ceiling-skilled speedrunning in all of horror. So I do hope that you all enjoy it. Anyway, to kick things off today, we're going to be starting off with Super Ghouls and Ghost with Telio One. All right, take it away. Well, hey there. Uh, I am Telio One. We're going to be running Super Ghouls and Ghosts, and we're going to be doing it on the most scary difficulty of all. Of course, professional difficulty. There's four difficulties in the game. There's beginner, normal, expert, and professional. It's going to be a great time. With me is my very good friend, uh, I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I am Enemy. Uh, I, I am a runner of this game, and I'm uh, thrilled to be here with you, Telio. This uh, this game is wild. This category is even more wild. It's gonna it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm very excited to see this one. I've been hearing great All things right. about it. Let's uh, just just get right back get right into it. We're gonna be doing both loops today, so uh, I'll go ahead and count myself in. Uh, three, two, one, go. So the first thing we're gonna definitely really wanna get is the dagger. I saw one frame of movement on that map, so I know I'm slightly behind already. Don't even worry about it. All right, the hell. <laughs> All right, that was fast. So Jesus. I believe that's something like a two frame window to get that dagger and, and that spot. So, I mean, just out of the gate, already crushing it. All right, cause I know we talked about that before the show began. Um, how, all right, so um, I guess either Tyler or Enemy, how hard is it to truly get that dagger? Cause I heard you were talking about the manipulation. We have to get it. You were talking about like enemy strategies. So just how hard is oh, it yeah. to get it? Well, so it depends on where you're at in the game. Uh, that particular dagger, Obviously, you reset a lot in this game, especially on pro mode, because uh, you can get gutted right out of the gate. Right. Um, which uh, you know, Telly is trying to avoid right now with these skulls <laughs> falling at a much faster rate of speed than they would be on lower difficulties. Um, right. Uh, so you get pretty used to hitting that uh, frame window uh, by your actions right as soon as you gain control of Arthur at the start. So, um, you know, you can become pretty reliable at it, but you, you still have a small window to hit it. Oh, he's going for the... Ah, the, oh, look at that. Getting underneath of that first wave right there and wait on that that trigger point to get the second wave to go so he can go straight away and not have to wait any longer than absolutely is necessary. Job. i really so, don't want to compliment anything because i have a history of jinxing things but i'm very <laughs> no, oh, it's in it, awe it's, it's gonna be just fine don't even worry about it <laughs> okay yeah, you had mentioned you know you didn't want to jinx anything the thing about this game is there is no the game will jinx you no matter what you do you can be as kind as you want to the game the game is going to get its say i promise you the, the whole concept of this series especially on pro mode, is that the game is trying to be as big a jerk as possible, and whatever it can do to be a bigger jerk at any given moment, that's what it's going to try to do, especially Wow, that mode. boss melted. Yeah, we yeah, just so popped right a... over Storm Co or the Cockatrice right there, and Telio just destroyed it. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm going to do something a little goofy here, uh, just to show it off, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Uh, this is a, a fun little bit of tech that... Uh, Maybe, maybe none of you have seen. Maybe, maybe some of you have seen. So we'll see if we can get it to work here. Oh no! I jumped. Oh, <laughs> oh it's bad news now. 
No, the ghost is coming, and those ghosts are coming at a much faster rate of speed than they'd already oh. see. There you go. He's landing on it. They, they got uh. an extra spawn in there as a result no of that. So, so now, yeah, now Teleo is flying a little bit by the seat of his pants. He tried to get a one pixel perfect jump right there. Um, was not able to jump up, but is able to climb up the ladder as a uh, fallback. Yeah, I was, uh, I was just trying to do a really goofy B boost that saves, yeah. like, maybe about a second if you get it right. But I, <laughs> I got a little, you know, a little bit of nerves. It's a little bit of nerves. Don't you worry about it. Right. Yeah, you know, when, when you're under the big lights, you know, some, every once in a while, you're like, <laughs> uh, you start to think about it. And, uh, yeah, you don't get the B boost. Uh, I had just seen the B boost for the first time when we were discussing the run. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, um, I'll tell you. I've been holding this question in the whole time. So what's the difference between regular and pro? <laughs> So, okay, uh, um, go ahead, tell you, you do it. Oh, yeah. You have lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only thing I gotta do, I gotta worry about here is not falling asleep. Um, yes. So, basically, the only difference is, is gonna be the zombies in level one are gonna move, or they have the potential to move a lot faster. Um, the Basically, overall, the RNG is like way worse, way more erratic. Um, or like a reamers uh, will swoop way off way more often uh, the f the bears that shoot fire in level three and level five I guess they shoot ice in level five uh, they shoot their their flame goes farther so in level three one of the bears if it shoot if it just immediately shoots flame on normal difficulty you can just jump over it um, on this difficulty you can't so if it shoots flame we, we have to like respect the pattern and just wait. Um, in 4B, the part, like the Mode 7 auto-scroller, the, the steam vents, they trigger at a different point and they last a little bit longer, and overall every boss has more health, which doesn't really affect too much other than it takes a few more hits. Um, it means on this boss I need the shield for a quick kill, it means for quick killing, um, Astroth, I need to release the magic on like the not the last possible frame, but a lot closer to the last possible frame. It's 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 good. It's great. It makes it even harder than it already is. <laughs> on, on this stage in particular, you see these little uh, uh, these, these little mouth looking things that he's uh, he's dispensing of very quickly that are hanging onto this coral. They can shoot more often as well. They can have mm -hmm. a, a higher rate of fire. Um, exactly. So Telio's trying to get rid of them very quickly so they, they don't start ganging up on him. Uh, Telio's doing an awesome move right here where he's going to get both armor upgrades um, in, in a maneuver where he spawned the chest on the right before he spawned the chest on the left. You couldn't see it. It was off screen. But, uh, you know, he mentioned that he wanted to get that gold armor, even though it looked like he wasn't going to get it there for a second. He was messing around. Yeah, just, <laughs> but, a little dance, you know. So, so the way that the chest progression works in this game is it's dependent on which number chest you've seen in a level and also what armor level you're at when you open the chest. So uh, what he did there was we, he shot to the right side of the screen, spawned the chest off the screen, headed back over, did a double jump to spawn the chest that's a little bit out of uh, position on the left side, picked that one up to get his green armor that triggered the next chest to have the gold armor and now he has the magic power that he needs to get the quick kill on this boss yeah it's uh it's definitely uh, a few times in the run like if i get hit on level seven we're gonna be doing something similar where we spawn a bunch of chests and kind of open them in a specific way just because of how the mechanics work for what is in the chest so knowing knowing the chest chart is really really a big part of uh really mastering the, the game yeah absolutely and it, it it's one of those things where for casual play it, it it's not an obvious thing at all because most no, of the time no. you're you're struggling between having any armor whatsoever and being naked and just trying to survive and then the magicians start coming after you it's a nasty piece of business <laughs> yeah. yeah that's also very we over another boss murder right there so <laughs> apologies it's all <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the dragon magic is supremely OP in this game. That's one of the great advantages that the runner has. Um, because it, <laughs> that really kind of levels the playing field, especially for boss fights. And he gets some iframes while he casts it. Now, he doesn't want to do that too much because he is stationary when he does that. So you're not going to see it too often throughout the run. But for boss fights in particular, oh, nice jump over. Yeah, the, so uh, the only the only way to get through that without waiting the full amount is to hope for a lag flame. Like, right. hope, hope to be a little gap, and then you can jump through it. So I got... It, it generally happens. Uh, it's actually a lot. Oh, he moved. Yes. Oh, my goodness. What luck. <laughs> so, yeah, usually if he just shoots his flame right there, you have to wait. But since he was nice and moved, we actually get to go fast. So that was pretty cool. Thanks, All right. man. 
How about some, uh, some, uh, GQ luck? How about that? Um, so you got a nice platform skip right here. Excellent. Uh, that, 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 that little bonus jump to bonk your head underneath the platform is, is so, uh, scary looking to me. We'll try to, we'll try to be fancy here to see if we're, we're, where oh our luck continues. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. All right. Oh, we're good. So he's gonna try to kill this Reamer all in stride. Look at that. That, that see, <laughs> you're gonna see that and you're gonna be like, oh, that wasn't that big of a deal. I promise you that he just he crushed that Reamer in, like, the most, uh, gnarly fashion that you possibly could. Um, uh, it's very easy to use your dragon magic there. Telio said, you know, we gotta go fast. So yeah. I'm just gonna throw some daggers at him, hope for the best. Hope he swoops at the right time. The Reamer did, and Telio's looking great. And Arthur's um, a little scared, so he's gonna shiver a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, of course, is bat country. We can have, uh, n normally there is a maximum of three bats that can appear on screen. I say normally because sometimes the game, again, decides to go into overdrive jerk mode, and you can get four bats, five bats, six bats, seven bats, and then the game lags all crazy-like. It's no good. Uh, the, the bats can spawn at yeah. really inopportune places for your daggers. Uh, it looks like you're making it through okay so far. So that's great. Now you're on to the, uh, the moblins here, the, these, uh, the ghouls. The, go goblins, the goblin waterfall, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we're coming up to that, that goblin waterfall, which is just straight no goblin Niagara Falls on both loops. Really, uh, the, the best way to get through this is honestly to just go. Just keep going? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, 100%. You just, you just so gotta you see, go. The goblins are starting to fall there, and one could have fallen uh, as right. you kept... The I need, you got I need a great a, pass there. I gotta okay, hear yeah, this real up. quick. Yeah, you're good, sorry. <laughs> Try to show something cool here, maybe. Oh my goodness, my jump button. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, this is not what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, if you get some down with daggers, it's fine. So this is the uh, the slow kill. We just wanted to show this off here in, in, in this run. Um, you know, just yeah, everyone could feel a little bit better about how they play the game. Yeah, but it's fine. That's, 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 right. that's, that's the really cool thing I, I wanted to maybe, show. Uh, for real. Maybe you get this, uh, the fast kill on the second loop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. For, so that's the great thing about this game. Guaranteed. You, you get built-in uh, extra practice because it's the two loops in nature. So, actually, right, so speaking... I, uh, oh, oh God. No, I was... Go ahead. You're all you. I was going to say, I guess a question for both of you. How do you get into running a game like this? Like, this game, like, I've been having, like, the anxiety of... I'm expecting a hit at any point just watching you. Like, how do you get into running this? Uh, well, so... Well, I mean, I, Go I ahead got, and tell me, and then I'll share my story. <laughs> I was gonna say I got into it uh, watching uh, just honestly uh, PJ's run in GDQ and Enemy's run in GDQ. Really, um, both I, I watched those two runs and I was like, this game seems really cool and really, really fun and really difficult. And I was like, yeah, that's that's my jam, you know. That's all there is to it for me, really. Uh, and I got into it because it, in the very first Super 16 event. Uh, uh, Fiesel and Mythical decided that they would put this game in there, and I actually, like, a as a rule, always hated uh, the NES <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins game growing up. That was, like, my nightmare game right. as a six-year-old trying to play that. As I, I mean, I I I'm sure a lot of Jack can relate to that story. Um, so uh, this game absolutely throttled me in uh, in Super 16, just, just stole my soul. And uh, at a certain point, I got just good enough that I could vow a little bit of revenge. So I decided to set out just to beat it at all. Um, like speedrunning was not an option. And then once I realized, once I finally beat it, it took me six hours the first time, which is a ton oh, of time. Yeah. It, that's it that's took, not bad. Half of the time was just on uh, the Astaroth and Neveroth fight in loop two. So three hours to get to the last, the, the true last boss, the, last, the real last right. boss. Right. Right. A big deal, but uh, Astaroth and Neveroth, it took me three hours to get there and three hours to beat that boss. Because that's the, that's uh, generally how it is. The bracelet, like, is no the, the bracelet fight is almost harder than the entire game combined. For sure. Oh no, no, no question at all. Especially um, like casually. When you're casually. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But but in a comp in beating that, it, I felt this great sense of accomplishment, and, and I said right then and there, I was like, you know what, I can do this faster. And I mean, is that not the the genesis of any good speed run right there? Oh, yeah. I beat it. Now I can beat it faster. And then here I am. <laughs> you know? oh, all I these years you. later. Oh, hey, they're grouping up pretty good here. So, yeah, that's the oh, Hydra. Yeah, probably grouping. I mean, if they group up, it's that's how easy it is. It's no big deal. That's the piercing, the power of the... Part of the reason why we really want the dagger is not only the magic is really good, but the piercing property of it uh, really makes it really, really good and desirable. Right, that's a really quick flower, so I'm just going to wait a moment and then go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And then he's 
to like just barrel through it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the bad luck flower, but you know, if we kill it off screen, it's probably fine. Wow, I didn't even kill it. Don't even, don't even worry about this. Oh man. All right, yeah, this is fine. That luck flower was cool though. Uh, please it shot, don't. Shot okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that one was. A lot uh, of this game, like even enemies doing it with me. A lot of this game is like, oh, uh, please, no. Okay, what are you gonna? All right. Well, this like, section in particular with these icicles that are yeah. that are gonna start forming. Um, so you'll see him jump through them they, because the hitbox doesn't form until it, the the icicle is fully formed. Oh, that hitbox does stick what? up a little bit, which you saw right there. Ah, this game's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his platform above the icicle. Everything's what fine. Is the no, box, there's dude. a hitbox. It extends further. Okay, so now he's got to hope that this swoop is not ugly. Okay, that's good. Because we'll now he's going to get over to... Yeah, you get, just take the death after getting to that checkpoint. And get his armor back, set himself up to reclaim his gold armor, which will be beneficial for this boss. Because again, yeah, we have a quick kill it's, it's a lot quicker to to just die and get all the way back to the gold armor. Because... Oh, yeah. Like, the fight itself against the boss without magic is really, really difficult. And without magic and armor, it's it's just too scary. And it that that entire fight can take like a minute um, if you don't have. It's it can be really bad. So just dying and no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, well. No anyway. <laughs> no. Oh. I think that's beneficial because I mean you don't want to get to uh, Beroroken and then like get down to the fight. You know, yeah. like, get going and then die. So I mean that's, that really saves you some time. It's all good. Anyway, for for everyone who hasn't had dinner yet, just just sit back and uh, enjoy the big serving of spaghetti, of nice <laughs> pasta here. Are we gonna be good here? Yeah, we're fine. Now you're okay. Just just giving him like a little sniff there. He's fine. In all fairness, though, yeah. I do I, I do love the music of the ice level very much. So good. Oh, it's the best song in the game, for, for sure. For Absolutely. Uh, so we, uh, so Telio's going through, you can see the snow drift here, this avalanche. Um, that is supposed to uh, w w just carry the player back down into these spikes, as you can see. But if you're above the halfway point uh, vertically on, on those, uh, the, on the snow drift, you're cool. Like, the, the, it doesn't pull you along. Yeah, so that's why you see him jump as he goes into it. Use that double jump to great effect. The, like, intended strategy, there's, like, little ladders on the bottom of the level that you're supposed to, like, like, the game, like, they want you to, you know, go on the ladder and wait it out. But if you just jump over him, it's fine. Nuts to that. Huh. Yeah, nuts to that waiting. Like, no way. Run, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> There's also this cool strat with uh, different magic that you can uh, become invincible when you get hit by the, uh, the snow. That's a little bit slower, though. Yeah, it's slower and a little bit safer, and it definitely would have been the smart move, but hey, I mean, come on. <laughs> Who said anything about uh, being smart? Yeah, so, yeah, Telio, no actually, quick question. Um, so, um, how do you, like, I guess, how different was it for you to go from going from, like, the normal run of this to the pro run of this? Like, we know some of the differences, but, like, physically running it, like, how different does it feel uh you gotta like uh so the major route changes are really only in level three and five and six i guess um mostly because in three you have to like oh i had to dodge that yeah so here again is like this this pattern will never happen in normal like you will you will never get that quick of a flame and that quick of a laser in normal ever so like it's just slight things that you have to like iron out of your muscle memory like the jumps over the flame in level three that are undoable you have to iron out you have to play things a lot safer there's a strat that you can do uh there's a, a no kill or a no magic strat you can do against this arima that literally will never work um or at least i've never gotten it in a run ever <laughs> um all right i think this is fine so like you have to use magic here um it's just basically you have to play safer and uh, overall, so it's kind of just harder to like kill your muscle memory from normal, basically. Um, that's that's you know, other than that, it's not too much harder, unless you just have to mentally prepare yourself that you're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> I should just alert chat that Telio just talked over about like a thousand pixel perfect jumps in a, a, about a 30 <laughs> second span. He was borrowing platforms with those cockatrice heads. Um, he, he uh, just he straight up, uh, Chumped uh, an Arima in the previous stage, uh, going up with platforms to get to Astaroth. There, there's so much good stuff there. A very and skilled like, runner. Yeah, no, you know, just you know, you just gotta be cool on professional mode. <laughs> no big deal. Just, <laughs> just, 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 just relax. It's gonna be fine. Exactly. So I didn't, just, just... I didn't throw it. Uh, I didn't throw that on the last frame. So we're a little, a little didn't get the, 
true quick kill there, but... So this this is really the big fight that changes from normal. You can kill him right here normally in normal, but I, it, he just has just a little bit too much health, so... Please no! Okay. Can we get a high five? Ugh, yes! Nice! <laughs> high five. So that's the Half G. Break. That's the big that's the big G. I haven't earned the GG, but I have earned a singular G. So, I mean maybe I have. I mean, maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> oh. So this is the part of the game where uh, the game explains to you and everyone who's played this game that doesn't know about two loops gets extremely tilted. Um, yeah. this is uh, they, the reason the main reason we run the Japanese version also is because it makes this cutscene much faster. Um, but yeah, the princess is basically telling you, hey, um, you need to go back and get the goddess bracelet in order to defeat the fiend Sardius, um, which translates to, you need to kill these two enemies with the goddess bracelet to unlock the true ending. Um, you don't have to get it. You can get it out of the last chest in this level. As long as you have it going into this fight, you'll unlock the final boss. So a lot of people think that you have to play the second loop with the uh, bracelet fully. You really don't. You can you can uh, hang on to the dagger, which we're gonna oh hi. We're gonna hang on to the dagger the whole the whole way, um, basically until midway through level seven again. And typically, again in this game, um, when you get to the second loop, it will be harder. But because Okay, eh, we'll just wait. Because, like, we're playing on professional difficulty, it can't really get harder. It's just the same amount of nonsense as before. So, like, huh. the RNG will, will definitely be different because there's, you know, just the high, however much RNG there is. But it can't really change anything. Like, you, like from right. when you play on normal and you get to expert, some of the high there, some of the things can definitely change um, <laughs> as far as, like, enemy patterns. But since we're on professional, it can't go... The, the 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 metaphor or whatever I like to usually say is it's already at eleven, so you can't like you can't go any higher than eleven, you know. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's actually really neat. Yeah. That's like yeah, the one the one comfort about playing on this difficulty, I suppose, is like, hey, when you get to loop two, <laughs> it's not it any harder, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Also, it another, was already uh, terrible. It just yeah. stays terrible. Another question. Um, so you mentioned you can get the bracelet at any point. Is it not a uh, better weapon than the dagger, or is it just like... So it it is it is actually really, really good. Um, it, it deals damage based on proximity. So like the closer you are, the more damage it does. Oh. The one thing that's actually really not cool about it and kind of strange is the attack rate is actually random. Like it's RNG for some reason. So like it doesn't have a constant attack rate so you can like expect a shot to come out and it won't come out quick enough for some reason um right. which is really mean and also the the dagger magic is just generally better and safer i think like theoretically if you were to get the bracelet and play perfect like a task you would definitely want to get it because it does do more damage you can basically one or two shot every single enemy in the game with the bracelet, so that's really good. But because I'm I'm not a, a Tass, <laughs> right? I just like to stick to the old trusty dagger. You know what I mean? Well, you're definitely doing great. I'll tell you that much. It's been a very uh, a very intense run to watch. Yeah, I mean we've only had like a few mistakes on level five. No big deal. We're doing great. <laughs> now what we gotta do now is just not fall asleep, and we're good. There is only one rule about SGNG speedrunning, and that rule is to never die on the raft. Yes, dying, dying. In the, so, this raft section is legitimately about twenty percent of the run. Uh, it's about yeah. four minutes, and you do it twice. So, <laughs> it's literally eight minutes of the run. Um, and if you die on this section, you go back to the beginning. Not only that, but you are on a different wave cycle, so you can no longer quick kill the boss. <laughs> really? Yeah, so oh, yeah. like, the, the instead of the waves being down and up like it is now, it'll be opposite. The waves will be up. Oh, did I miscount? <laughs> um, one no, that's all right. I mean, worst case scenario, you just do it without magic. Oh, okay. It won't be quick, but so... it'll be doable. Okay, so... Um, nah, you're cool. You're cool. I, I, I get my steel armor back, but that's it. Right. So, yeah. that's fine. But that's fine. Yeah. Um, I, so I, so, okay, my brain was in, um, loop one mode, basically. <laughs> I oh. spawned an extra chest. It's no big deal, it's fine. We get a, we get a fight Bob, 
We get to fight Bob with our with our uh, armor now. It's great. Yeah, that's one of the uh, great trolley, like the sub trolley aspects of this game, where you think like, oh, more opportunities for chess. That's good. Well, yeah, it's good unless you're completely routing it out in such a way that you get a very specific number of chests yeah. and get very specific items, which is what Telio did, of course. But there's, I, I, I'm, I am so confident that it was the the one where you jump past the axe pendulum. Yeah, I, I accidentally that, spawn that one. You get spawn that one yeah. all the time. Yeah, that, that's the, just like a really common one. The the that. reason the reason that I spawned it and I have that muscle memory is because I've been practicing the B boost and the, oh, yep. in the B boost you don't spawn the first chest in the, in the level. Right. So you do spawn that one, but my brain was yeah, not even it out. My, okay. my, I got I got ghoul's brain right now, okay? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so this should be my chest, my armor. Uh yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. And then, and then next the next, next will chest a will be a weapon, yeah. Um but it's fine as long as we don't get the hyper bob. Um, which is Bob being a big jerk. Oh, it's a trap. Yeah, oh, okay. it's a... Huh, okay, yeah. I feel yeah. Like bear trap's That's just, it. like, what? floating on water. It's, just yeah, floating yeah. on water. Yeah, it's just a, mind its own business, doing its thing. It's Don't a pretty water it. trap. Don't even... It's, it's normal. Yeah. Fish trap. <laughs> for the longest time, for some reason, oh. and I'm... Uh, oh, no. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yeah, I thought that this level... That that you guys. I was in a cave. The, the because on top of the screen, I was like, that's the ceiling of the cave. I don't know if they're still going one, or if they one just One day, here. someone mentioned to me that how can there be lightning inside of a cave? Those are clouds, clearly. So, Either that's, way, that's, uh, my, that's my story of me being a goofball. <laughs> we finally, oh, well, I'm going to see some really quick. I can find it for us. <laughs> I, I can narrate what's going on. <laughs> gonna be but here we are, we're coming up to Bob, and we got to fight him with our daggers. So this is going to take like 30 or so dagger hits. Okay, it was just Discord. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to send you a link. If we die, we lose like four and a half minutes. So, yeah, it's no no worries. Because I'm like, I cannot watch what's going on right now. I know. It vanished. All right, so I took that up. All right. Oh, no. So right about yeah, now, yeah. he's probably finishing off the boss fight. Yeah, I think I lost my, my GDP may, may not have been hit by Oh, it. no. It looks like he's roughly around <laughs> the waterfall boss right now. I feel so alone. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so, uh, oh, you see now Bob, that please. the boss can uh, start okay. to shoot some, uh, some uh, missile, missiles, some, uh, such as they are, some seashell missiles, um, and did get hit, in fact. Huh. <laughs> I really hope that... Uh... But he survived. So, see, again, all he needed was the steel armor. It's all good. Yeah, because right now, uh, Telio's uh, anyway, not in the call uh, with us at the moment. He ended up, I think his uh, net had a right. quick crash. Weird. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, he'll be able to So I guess, uh, anyway, we're, we're here. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's a little tricky. The spooky list continues. I guess I got noticed for sure that you dropped. The, uh, there's not a whole lot of channel, opportunities so built into the game. So to, uh, only to check out and stuff. So I think he's taking a look because he's probably not here with us right now. Yeah. But so we'll see. We'll see if he gets back in, but we'll try to hold it down in the meantime. But uh, yeah, again in loop two here, and you see he got his uh, bronze armor back. That is bronze armor. That is not green armor. Um, I guess it's uh, pretty weather. Um, but yeah, he's dealing with uh, the flame bears here. Which God help me, I cannot remember the name of them right now. They're, they're, the flame bears and the ice bears, which are called woos. And there you see the uh, the trolley professional shot from the fire right there. He kited okay. that one. We're gonna fix this. Straight up, We're gonna so he fix can jump this. over it as it was spawning. Um, so there we go. Holding in there. Okay, so it looks like Tilly is back in. Uh, Hey, hey, welcome back. We're gonna hey, fix hey, it. Hey, he made it. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have your stream boom, up boom, on the other end. Really happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell your net. All right, so just a quick one, two, three. Dude, this is ghouls, I told you. It's gonna be cursed. All right, so the curse wasn't yeah, in the game. That. It was in the... <laughs> it was in the call. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right, the ISP did not know uh, the <laughs> I was, like, fighting Bob, and, I, and everything was so silent, and I was like, oh, man, I feel so oh, alone no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I got your stream pulled up, so, oh, you, uh, let's see. Yeah, I got I your stream pulled oh. up on the, uh, the Twitch thing, so don't worry about that. Just keep playing. Oh, I definitely already screen shared again, so we're oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I, I love that you aced that Reamer again in stride. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's... The uh, double uh, Reamer ace on pro mode. I love it. Yeah, really, as long as he doesn't instantly swoop you, it's fine. But the the problem is he definitely has a chance to instantly swoop you. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm 100%. Yeah. All right, let's see if that country is cool. Oh, hi. It was on the first loop, surprisingly. Yeah, it was so. It was a pretty tame pretty tame backcountry, to be honest. It's looking pretty tame this time as well. Oh, hey, you got to get The other wrinkle 
in here is that um, those bats, you know, every third uh, pot that the bats carry, or, or that any enemy carries when they carry those pots, um, will drop a weapon. And uh, if, if you don't pick one up, on the, then the, the game kind of like throws a hit to shit and won't drop a weapon from the pots anymore. Right. Um, except on this section, they'll keep doing it. I think with the way that the towers are set up, it kind of um, dismisses the uh, checkpoint rule uh, for the weapons. So uh, he has to be careful that if he kills a bat, that the pot is not in his way, so it doesn't drop a weapon in his path. And then, oops, now I have the axe. And All right. Nobody. Let's see if I can actually jump this time and show off this quick kill. <laughs> see, yeah. this is what we all, all been right. waiting for. All in preparing as practice. All right, here we go. Ooh. Maybe? No, I don't think so. We got to bail out of this. That's all right. No big deal. <laughs> If you that do was that, pretty close, though. If you do that right... Oh, look, it was one extra hit! It's I fun, mean, that's fun. still fast. Like, I would say that's pretty <laughs> quick. If it wasn't the quick kill, it was a quick kill. It was El Rapido kill. Maybe not the Ah, yes, it was a time. fast kill. <laughs> All right, so I like to delay there. If I... Like, this this difficulty likes to give you the hidden uh, the hidden genie on the bottom there. Oh, yeah. Um, so if, the, if, the, if it spawns those two in the beginning, it likes to give you the hidden genie right there, so I always like to just delay and double check. But we got lucky that time. Um, okay, we're good. <laughs> also, off topic, Let's just but do I, this. I did want to say as well, you've gotten multiple uh, compliments on your beard, Telio. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's it's a beard. <laughs> there have been a few people in chat who have been very complimentary. <laughs> oh, oh, another thing that, that spike jump is misleading right there. Oh, are you making? Okay, good. That that spike jump that Telio did, where it looks like he's passing through the spike. Um, the hitbox is very misleading. It's actually set higher than it is further out. So he can jump into the front of the spikes. But if he lands anywhere on top, even though they look nice and round and flat, uh, no, that's no Yeah, it's, it's, it's very strange. The front of them are like non-existent, but like the top of them have like an extra like three or four pixels. Oh, it's really, really mean. Right. Huh. Same with same with those ones right there before the checkpoint there. The, the, it's, it's a strange hitbox. You made it through both uh, both genie drops there. I am very happy for you. Yeah, that there's an unkillable genie there that will show up that you can literally do nothing about, and it happens. So it happened in the in the the last time I ran this game in a marathon, it happened. <laughs> Uh, I think you said it was something like crazy, like 20% of the time, which may not sound like a lot, but th think about you have to go through that spot yes. twice in one run, so that doubles your chances into some sort of like Steiner math territory, <laughs> and the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for the run at that point. Like it, so you gotta, it, it's no joke. In normal, I've run this game so much, and it's happened to me maybe a handful of times, but in professional mode, it seems to happen at least once or twice every single session of running this game it's it's yeah. nonsense it's not that's the only thing about this game that truly i believe is unfair is that genie spawn that you can literally just do nothing about <laughs> so we're on the hydra again let's see if they group up we really want them to group up because uh again the piercing of the daggers um, if they group up it's really good oh that's really good nice look at that Oof. You love to see it. Yeah, I mean, that's great. On to this level, level five again. Again, like, you know, the, this is the best This is the best music in the game. Like, 100%. That flower is really slow, so we could just go. That's really nice. Hopefully it won't be mean. Yeah, so, like, there's, uh, there's a flower up here that's called... This one right here is called the Bad Luck Flower, but um, if you store a dagger, which is a tech that I guess we really haven't talked about... Um, in this game, when you double jump and attack, you do more damage. Like, in uh, when you throw... Uh, Without all but one weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when you see me jumping like this, throwing three and then doing a front flip and throwing nothing, that is called storing, like, storage, storing a dagger. So the next time I throw a dagger, it's going to be empowered. Um, basically, it makes it do a few extra damage, which is... Oh! <laughs> Which is generally enough to one-shot a lot of enemies, which is why we, we like to use it. Oh man, Ice Cave is wrecking me today. 
there's a little telltale with that story where the uh, the projectile will glow. Right. Um, so that it's a little bit more subtle on the dagger because the sprite's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. um, and that's true for all the weapons when you do that that double jump and then do that flip and score that. Um, it'll do uh, more damage uh, per attack. Uh, with all the weapons except for the torch, which is uh, like this hilarious irony of the game. Oh being yeah. Jerk because. The, the torch normally does the most damage of the standard weapons on attack, so they said, oh, it's already powerful, we're going to do less damage when you do your storage on the torch. Yeah, that is... Just to be that little extra bit of a jerk. It is super mean. Oh, hi, that's like a really mean shot. It's really, really mean, too, because, like, it's important. Like, a, a, a standard torch throw will kill a wolf with one torch, but if you accidentally empower it or you do a double jump and then throw it, it will not kill a wolf with one hit, and that generally means you're going to get hit by the wolf, which is really, really sad. <laughs> so, as a question about that, was uh, the storage an intended mechanic for the game, or is that like... I, I don't think so, honestly. Like, there's there's no way it was intended. I don't I'm like, how would you figure that out? Like, oh, what if I just no, randomly I double know. jump and then throw daggers? I mean, you think they would animate the, the flashing on the weapon? Or the, the the indicator that you did the storage if it wasn't intentional? Uh, I I don't think that they were like, hey, if you reach the weapon limit and throw an empty shot, you're gonna get uh, you know what I mean? Like, oh no, I what mean, am I doing? again! <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this together as a family. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so this like if you get through this, this is like ultimate god tier stuff. This is right fine. Here, no, we're, 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 we are we are one hundred percent fine. Would okay. you say? All yeah. right. Now, so if he gets through this, this climb is harrowing. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Wait, this All is right. fine. Yes, that hitbox on the cockatrice is fine. Now he's got to climb down one last ladder here. Just go All away. Right. So okay. this arena okay. will not be there. He's despawned in arena right here. He's just Oops. hustling Oops. to the right because, as you saw, holy cow! Oh my oh, god, no. <laughs> They all despawned. He did it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, oh, can you say since he made it through that this is... that Helio <laughs> that is... is a professional? Oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like something beyond. That is honestly death, like the good. scariest thing ever, and I probably should have just taken a death, but. Oh, you yeah. have no business surviving that. I promise you. Like going up and down those ladders with those two arimers chasing him is like. You know, single digit percentage of success. It's fine. It was it fine. There was that it was worked out. Fine. I wasn't even scared. Yeah. <laughs> it, the Telio one is one percent chance of actually doing that in a row. <laughs> so the main issue with getting hit on level six is we don't have the piercing daggers to deal with these run killers in the wall, and it's also going to take uh, longer to get our bracelet back. Um, but it's going to be fine. So now that we're on the last level, we have to get our, our bracelet which means we have to get to gold armor and we have to open up a chest that would have a weapon in it with the gold armor, which won't be until we get up to the bird heads. So that means we cannot get hit from here until we kill both bird heads, which shouldn't be an issue. Cross your fingers, dot your eyes, and tease. It's fine. <laughs> Gotta deal with a couple pumpkin balls, but aside from that... All right, no big deal. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, we're in there, we're in there, it's fine. And here it is, the goddess nice. bracelet, the little fairy, spins around a little bit, and there we have it, this is the ultimate weapon of the game. And now we're on to the worst part of the game. Um, the, yep. you thought, <laughs> yeah, you thought it was hard, now it's... Now the game begins! Yeah, now the true game begins, like, you, you work this hard, and now you have to really, the game really is, you get put to the test here. So you guys can say all you want here, but I'm just gonna try to focus, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the nice thing is if the, this first boss, this this Astaroth uh, boss uh, goes okay, Neveroth is a little bit less uh, of a challenge um, because he, he always, uh, his angles are always the same where uh, Astaroth here. Um, Tell me is actually trying to get close enough to get that uh, that flame projectile to shoot uh, at a favorable angle downward, which it did. That laser came oh out. Oh my gosh, jump, late. please. Uh, it's fine. Okay, no, watch out for the, the freezy pops. Ah, yeah, the freezy pops got you. Gotta be careful. It is that time of year. Yeah. So, uh, tell you again, you know, because the proximity matters, and especially when you're naked, the. Uh, the projectile travels a lesser distance 
that, uh, that Satelio was just trying to get right up in his grill. Uh, one of the bummers in being naked is when you have gold armor, you, your goddess bracelet projectile will actually cancel out these uh, flames. Uh, not so when you're uh, un less than gold armor. So uh, Atelio is just trying to get right up in, never off the base. Uh, give him the business and try to avoid getting killed. And look at that. See? Not bad. Not bad at all. So now, we're on to now we go on to the, we're on to the final yeah. boss. All right. The final boss, which is, of course, uh, um, the... The fiend, the, the fiend Sardius. I mean, yeah, Sar Sardius is whatever. He's a big dude that's a cool looking sprite, but he ain't about much. Yeah, he's much nice, easier. You know? Yeah. The sigh of relief has been breathed at this point. We're just gonna take it nice and easy here. No, no, nothing too fancy. Just jump on the platforms and miss the platforms. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> platforms, who needs those? There's a lot of lag in there, so he's trying to like negotiate his double jump to go in a certain direction to land on the platform, and sometimes uh, you know, lag is a, a, a nasty customer. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna get oh. the freeze frame here? <laughs> Did, Dancing Arthur. No. Didn't get the slide. That's all right. <laughs> Time is gonna be when the princess lands. We lose three seconds going for that strap, but darn, it's all right. <laughs> and there it is. It's worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> Super goals and goes two loops. Professional difficulty. The full game. We've saved her. We've saved Princess Prin Prin. God. All is well with the world. <laughs> I'm tense watching that. I don't know how you pulled half that <laughs> off, but Jesus Christ, man. He's incredible. Telio is, is is just such an incredible runner. All right, folks. So I always like to ask these questions. One, Telio, do you have any shout-outs you'd like to give to anyone? Uh, Shout-out to uh, everyone who's watching on the show. Thanks for putting it on. Thanks for having me. Enemy for suggesting me to run it, for doing commentary. Shout-out to the BKKC. Shout-out to... So uh, everyone who's watching, man, thanks you guys so, for hanging out. I, I, I just, I, what do I have to say? You guys are great. <laughs> All right, and as well, if anyone wants to You're find great. you on, like, let's say, Twitch or anything else, where can they find you? Uh, just Twitch slash uh, Telio1. That's all it is. That's that's my name. I stream pretty much every day. This game, ActRaiser, Retro, Super Nintendo games, Nintendo games. That's what I like. That's what I do. I'm just still in awe of, like, that whole final section of not getting hit at all like jesus christ <laughs> either it's, way it's, 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 it's i mean it's 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 the easy game just don't get hit man just don't get hit <laughs> yeah that's, that's, that's a good... everyone who wants to everyone is like man what do you do how do you how do you play this game you know it's so simple just don't get hit that's all you gotta do a very fitting uh, way to describe Ghost and Goblins, mm. and uh, I guess uh, a fitting way to continue onward. Um, before we go, does anyone have anything they want to add? I mean, I just want to say thanks. I appreciate the opportunity. Hand me. I'll leave it to you, man. Oh, no, yeah, just an awesome job, Telio. Everybody, make sure you give him a follow. He is uh, an incredible speedrunner and, and is one of the underrated guys out here in the community and, and just a, a great guy all around. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, putting this on and, uh, and, and you know, giving Telio this opportunity, really. Uh, it, it's thrilling to, to any time the, the SG&G uh, community gets to showcase on something like this. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's real cool to see you just crush this game, Telio. It's fun. It's a great game. I love playing it. All right. Well, I want to say a very good job, and thank you both for being here. Um, for now, though, we are going to be uh, hopping on over to a quick wellness break. So, uh, you know, we're going to quickly cut on over, and we go into our next game in a moment. But before that, we're going to stand up, stretch our legs, all that jazz. So uh, don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. That run, like, just the whole time through, like, I can feel... Just the anxiety of just expecting a hit at every moment coming on. I think that's kind of a thing with this whole franchise, where you always kind of just... The whole fact that you only get the two hits, or I guess three if you have the, uh... I think the super armor. But it's a pretty fun franchise to watch, and there is a lot of high skill. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the franchise recently saw a revival recently. I guess it's a remake? I'm not re sure what exactly it qualifies under. Um, reimagining remake, but... Either way, I know that game is making the rounds and kind of reinvigorating the whole difficulty of Ghost and Goblins to a lot of people. Uh, that being said, up next, we're going to be having uh, Ghost and Goblins Resurrection. We're going to be having a couple runs of this, by the way, uh, with uh, the Mexican Runner, but the first one we're going to be doing is True Ending Squire. So, take it away. Hey, hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, what an amazing run uh, from Teleo. 
Uh, I'm the Mexican runner and yes, I'm gonna be playing this game that, well, according to this title screen, it says 2021. That actually makes me a modern gamer, <laughs> which I'm very happy for, right? Because, you know, one, yeah. of, one of the things people is like, do you play anything modern? Well, here we are, Ghost and Goblins Resurrection. You're reviving all these crypt games. So the game, well, it has a lot of different difficulties. I'm gonna be playing on the square, uh, and along the way, since it's a pretty long run, I think we will be covering a few things. So the first thing, I will start the timer. Uh, well, well the countdown for the person um, to start the timer. So I guess like five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, I didn't start my timer. I think I did now. Um, I hope I didn't mute anything. <laughs> all right, Hopefully so. Not. Hopefully it should be all good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like, if you're in the wrong window, you can just mute your game audio and that's not good, right? So Ghosts and Goblins, uh, well, not too much to know other than it looks amazing, right? It shines because it's a difficult game and definitely the first speak tech that we have is just you start and retry straight away that saves you about two seconds great time save right so uh the game has different difficulties uh, it has in theory five stages but there is actually eight different uh, stages no seven yes yeah, seven different stages in this game so the weapon of choice, like in the majority, is gonna be the, the dagger that I hopefully will get at some point. Uh, so on square difficulty, you can pretty much get hit a lot. So that is a little different from normal playthroughs. Uh, but there is something pretty cool about this particular one that unlike the classic two loops that you have to do, uh, in this one, they introduced or implemented some orbs as well. Orbs! If you know from GDQ, <laughs> you're familiarized with those ones. <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, I have to collect 17 orbs. Uh, some of the orbs are being dropped by the enemies. Oh, by the way, that black chest is going to be required and mid-dime right there is also required to get the true mm. ending. So. Uh, hitting the, well, killing the, like, magician from the black chest, uh, it lets me uh, go to this particular hell hole, and in these hell holes is where the magic is gonna happen. Two orbs are gonna be hidden in these ones, in, but, uh, well, it happens to be that you have to, to, ouch! to finish all of them, but uh, well, that's it, the, the black chest right there, the first one has a golden armor, and I almost died. Ah, ah, well, I shouldn't be talking sometimes. Yeah, I wanna just let you know what I'm doing. So, the game is gonna look very strange to you because in a lot of places I will have to intentionally die in order to get back to that uh, hell hole that appeared like just behind you. So that doesn't make it quite amazing, like the speed run of the real ending, sadly, uh, because of that backtracking, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, the game got very inspired of the previous games. Uh, so a lot of people think like this is uh, not a, I mean, they think this is a remake or something like that, but no, this is actually a, a brand new game just uh, based on you know, the franchise. And yeah, you have a lot of checkpoints uh, in this... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have spawned that. Or should I, should, nah. Well, let's go. Let's see. So I... Ouch! Nice throw. So I lose the golden armor. Unlike uh, other... I, I could die here. Oh, I didn't die. Alright. Unlike other... Uh, games from Ghosts and Goblins, if you manage to beat the stage with the golden armor, ouch, um, you, d you don't keep that golden armor. Alright, so let's see if we can spawn a golden armor right here. Alright, so the, how, how the... Ooh, 
how, how the golden armor works, like uh, every third chest, it will be a golden armor. Oh, and finally we got the dagger. That's good. So we get the balls right now. With the golden armor, you can shoot way faster. Uh, and it makes a little bit more damage as well. Another pretty cool thing about this game is that it implemented some magic. So you don't really have magic in other Ghosts and Goblins games, as far as I'm aware of. And yeah, that was the boss. Easy peasy. So you grab the key and... Nice catch! Alright. We're out of level one. So as a quick question, uh, I know uh, for the true ending you're required to do every single one of the levels. How does the level routing kind of come into place throughout the loop one and two? Well, uh, like here I can pick any level I want. And the level planning, I basically just go to levels I feel kind of comfortable with. <laughs> I guess it doesn't make that much difference which levels you go, but... Uh, but yeah, I just... The game is kind of new, and not many people have run the game, so, you know, like... I I just basically pick whatever works for me as a round, <laughs> and that's what I kind of took. So not, not too much thinking about it, but I don't think there's a, like a huge difference. Uh, Probably a lot of it comes to not making mistakes. There, there's this beast that you can grab, but uh, probably those are the cool things that uh, lets you buy uh, stuff in the shop. Well, the shop is the um Umbral Tree. But yeah, the, the route is just, just straightforward. Also, there are hidden chests here where you can get some gold armor. All right, uh, I need to remember in this one, oh yeah, I, I need to keep thinking myself where are the hidden chests because yeah, as I explained, like if I don't go for them, I don't get the the orbs, and without those, we won't be seeing the true ending. So the true ending is not only one more boss. Oh, oh, oh wow, that was a nasty death right there. Well, that red armor. Uh, compared to other games, like you pretty much cannot shoot him unless he starts like uh, charging towards you. That's the only moment you can hit him. So that guy is... I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not even sure if they will fix that in updates or something. Probably not, but... Uh, right, because this is coming to like Steam and a couple other... I think yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna come out uh, on Steam, on PS4, I believe. Uh, yep, and all the others. So that was kind of unfortunate because I was really close. So you can retry uh, right there to get rid of the red army. Otherwise, like he will just be right there, uh, you know, bugging you, kind of uh, bullying you more than bugging you. Um, also, well, this part with the Firefoxes, with the Mozilla Firefoxes, is kind of interesting. It can be really, really, really difficult. Uh, Lucky, I more or less know what to do. I always have to uh, wonder why they sound like cowbells. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have pretty good sound effects, I guess. Uh, here is, I'm doing some certain almost like skips. And here, to trigger the, the black chest, I had to be there. Then I killed the guy. And for this one, I don't have to die. I just need to go down there that hole so honestly like at the very beginning it's really hard to to know where everything was like there was a lot of discussion on the net uh, you know where where are the tricks and ouch so I for know, this uh, one of okay. yeah for this one in particular i had to well i got the orb right there there's an orb uh, for this one i had to destroy those fire foxes there is uh, a few on the way so yeah, that was that was good. You had a question? Yeah, I was gonna say uh, for all the orbs and the uh, like the hell holes. There's one in particular. I think in like the second loop that's really mean, and that one got me when I did this game casually. Yeah, no, I mean the whole game is mean. I mean, 
The only good thing yeah. about this difficulty is that because I can take three hits, so I had like almost my whole armor like uh, gone, but I still was able to to manage to get the golden armor. Uh, all right, here, this this is probably one of the most difficult bosses for a lot of people, including me. All right, so I'm gonna try to get both at the same time. Ah. Probably was like one hit away. Well, still fine. Like as long as you have the golden armor and you don't take hits, that's that's what you want for this game. Like it can get really nasty. But is the, there a preference on the uh, order of dog that you want to kill? Yeah, there is like a preference order. Uh, well, usually you want to leave this like yellow one for last. Uh, the first uh, dog that I try to get rid of is like the the red one uh, because uh, he just keeps jumping around so it, it's quite difficult when they mix like uh, it's just really hard the second I kill is like the pink purple uh, because he's uh, uh, it's kind of easy to kill and to be honest I have never fought him as last so I, I'm not even sure like <laughs> I'm not even sure like if, if there could be a faster strat there pro probably but not hundred percent sure um, so the game looks quite easy and well in this difficulty is a little easier definitely but still like there is a lot of stuff that can go wrong oh I have not gotten to the shop I just keep forgetting to do that well and remind you on the next one <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think for for this first loop, like, I don't think it makes a huge difference. The, the good thing about going to the shop is that, uh, well, when you use a magic, you have like a little invincibility frame, so you can kind of abuse that uh, to don't get hit, which a lot of people do in their first playthrough, once they find out that something like that is possible to do. So here is so, uh, as a, just an auto scroller, not too much. I guess there's a good time for a question right now. So since uh, you mentioned that this is like one of the first modern games you played, I'm assuming that you've done the uh, like Super Ghosts and Goblin or Super Ghouls and Ghosts and the original Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of them for different reasons. None of them was for love. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> So, how would you say this compares to, like, uh, more of the original games? This is quite different, and honestly, uh, I kind of like this one. And the only Ghosts and Goblin game that I liked was the the Ghosts and Ghosts. That's the only one I liked, because it was just, like, nice. Uh, but uh, how it compares... I mean, it definitely has the feel of Ghost and Goblin games. Uh, how it compares, mm, it's hard for me to tell because I, I never really speedrun the other games. I have beaten pretty much, I think, all the Ghost and Goblin games. All right, here's another chest that is quite tricky to spawn. If it actually spawns, right? Oh, there you go. It's just I, I have to be really close to the edge. So. This is a pretty bad one because I have to start over the level in order to get to the to the hell hole. So this this is why it looks very strange the speedrun of the real ending or the full ending. Well, that's not the name of the category, but you, you get my point. <laughs> the true right. ending, yeah. Main conventions, right? Um, ouch. So that alabaster, well, that's the name of that magician. It's called alabaster, and he definitely can be very bad because if he spawns at the wrong spot, ouch! Wow, this is not good. All right, I'm gonna take an intentional death there in order to recover the the armor. You can retry from that banner that I just got. So that that's what makes uh, Squire difficulty easier because you can just die almost everywhere and it won't be as punishing as other categories. As well, I, if I remember correctly, I think you're gonna be running uh, one loop squire at the next SGDQ, right? 
Oh yeah, it definitely got accepted, which is pretty nice. And um, yeah, definitely I see the one loop being kind of the main category of, of this game. The reason is because uh, the true ending, as, as you can see, there's a lot of backtracking. Also, like, this is like the easiest difficulty and the current time is like one hour and 25 minutes. The game is quite long. I mean, uh, unlike other Ghost and Goblin games, this is definitely longer. What I do really like is that the, for the true ending, there is like a special, special... Oh, I forgot that I have to go here. Make it, make it, make it. Oh. <sighs> wow, I'm, I'm surprised over myself for remembering that. <laughs> well, that was a good catch. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be really bad, and it could have been a quite waste of time. Uh, it's a little bad when when some uh, weapons just spawn right in front of your face, because sometimes right. if you change your weapon, everything changes. Everything changes. You definitely don't want that. Uh, all right, so we're mid checkpoint, and this, this is a pretty nice one. So this cavern or of Oculus, that's the name of the stage. Uh, it is composed like mo most of the stages is composed are composed by like two parts. So this is the second part. There's a little skip right there that you can get. Um, so there are there's a lot of snakes. This game has a few auto scrollers that uh, you know some people might don't like. But they're quite interesting. Of course, in this difficulty, it doesn't look as challenging, but uh, in Legend and, and the Knight difficulty, uh, definitely you can see that the game is really hard. And a lot of people quite, uh, they have mixed feelings about this game because uh, some of them didn't like it because it just felt like they just put a lot of enemies uh, being really, really punishing for the player like you didn't have like a chance to dodge anything like tons of spawns which uh, you know it, it just feels like really unfair but uh, if you pass that threshold then you can actually start like enjoying and the more is this a kind of game that the more you play the more you like it somehow yeah it's uh, definitely a mean game, though. I was kind of surprised when people were going like, oh, this game's too hard, because isn't that the whole point of Ghosts and Goblins? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like that, that they keep like, uh, the feel of the old game. Plus, like, they implement the new things. They definitely keep it really hard, which... Uh, uh, <laughs> Which, I mean, I, somehow I tend to like hard games, I don't know why. Well, I mean, I know why, it's just like some some very easy games are quite boring for me. So, that doesn't mean I like ultra hard games, just hard enough that are okay for me. <laughs> right. And then definitely you have to be able to enjoy the games you're playing, even if they are just hard for the sake of being hard. Yeah, that is also true. Like, I usually don't tend to like obscure games, like, like that they have a dark feel. Uh, this one could fall into that category of little obscure games, but the, the art is, is quite nice. I really like it a lot. So here more auto-scrolling, more and more and more. And there's those little Reaper guys that uh, somehow they spawn like on proximity, but they can slightly spawn in different ways. So there's some RNG factor always that can make it a little challenging. So what I want is to don't lose the gold armor because, ouch, there you go. Straight from heaven, that guy. <laughs> Because, uh, well, the the boss is easier to, to kill if you have the gold armor. Now I don't know what is my count in gold armor like. Oh, right, that's a good one to have. Please. All right, that, that was actually lucky. Somehow I managed to spawn the chest numbers that I needed for that. I didn't have a clue what was my count, so I just spawned the chest and hope for the best. There was still one more chest at the end. Uh, this this is one of the parts where it's a little tricky because you don't have a clue what you have to do So there's a lot of trial and error in this one Like Plus the uh, little burrito dudes are pretty mean aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're quite spawned in a, in a bad place 
So yeah, and also that jump is very nasty the, the first time you play. So here we go with the boss. I hope he starts not charging at me. Yep, yeah, that's what I want. Now I need to remember how to clear it. All right, that went nice so far. Yeah, perfect fight, man. All right, that's pretty cool. So it's that starting. was very fast. It was indeed. So that's the power of the gold armor. All right, nice catch. All right, we're doing not too bad, I think. But yeah, Remember to go to the bee shop, magic. All right, yeah, yeah, let's go. It's the, it's the umbral tree, it's the, the magic tree. All right, here we are. So I don't even remember exactly what I want to buy, but uh, one of the things that are pretty cool is like, oh my God, the deep pad is quite bad on the, <laughs> on the pro switch controller. So I cannot wait until it comes out on Steam so I can play with a, a different controller. Uh, yeah, this doppelganger is a, is a quite useful one. And also I'm gonna buy this short, the boxers boxers. When you turn into the last uh, hit you can take, uh, it's possible to... It's possible to hit like for triple damage the very first hit. So that's quite good in case you get naked. Well, almost naked. And uh, this is a quite difficult stage. The first thing is for me to try to remember... Oh, come on! Those spawns are random, and yeah, sometimes they just spawn right where you were jumping. In the middle of the air, so yeah, not too much you can do. Uh, this level has like those like eyes right there, that if I manage to hit one of those, it will spawn an enemy. Like, I'm gonna hit that one, so you will see some sort of enemy. Those reapers were enemies that usually don't show up. Oh, I don't remember what to do. Uh, so what I have to do, I think I can go straight, but... For the uh, hellhole, or...? Huh? I think this hellhole is after the, uh, the fight with the maggots, larva thing that's in the water. It's on like a little platform. Yeah, it is. It, it is. It is. Well, surprisingly, since I practiced a little bit of... Of... What is the name? Oh, oh there's like a bunch of these, I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of, of Legend Mode, this one went actually quite nice. Here, the doppelganger, that's what he does. Like, you have two Arthurs right now. Suddenly, I got a bad RNG here. Uh, this bug, Caterpie, can go up or down. Um, if he goes up to start with, then you have to pretty much, well, kill him in kind of two cycles. So yeah, a lot of a lot of things are like this. In ouch, that was my deep pad jumping to the front where it didn't supposed to. So here is a very precise docking there. I can get this magician and I got him. So it convert me, but I got him. So now I have just to die here in peace. So I can retry from this banner. And because I killed that uh, black magician, we go to the black hole once more. Here it is. Uh, so this one is to survive for 12 seconds, the Reapers. So you can, I'm gonna show you, try to show you here. If you use your doppelganger, you have those invincibility frames for a little period of time. All right, and we get a gold armor. That's pretty nice. So that, uh, once again, we are required to get every single black chest in every stage in order to, to get the true ending. I will be playing uh, not only the regular levels twice, uh, they gonna change a little bit for the second loop, uh, which is not gonna be like the same stage, it's just like a version of the stage, but it's a different way, which makes it quite interesting, the game, and more complex than many of the predecessors so, of this game. Possibly a dumb question. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love those ones. <laughs> um, so um, after this level, I assume you're going to the final level, or are you going to go back and do like all the like the other like one B and two A and all those? I will go to the final level. The reason is because um, uh, when I will have to backtrack in the map, so I, I believe it saves a tiny bit of time. To oh my god, those spawns are not not what you want. Sometimes, oh my, God. 
There's some really mean spawns on the uh, the scissors and the uh, reapers. Yeah, this this spawns are RNG, and sometimes they can just spawn straight in your face or in the right side of this mouth. And yeah, that is not too much you can do. And definitely for this boss in particular, is one of the ones that you want to have the gold armor. It makes the, the, the battle so much easier. But luckily, also the, the twin, well, the doppelganger, makes it easy. Oh, that, that could have been an armor, uh, an armor, uh, like a, a drop of uh, a weapon that you really don't want. Yeah. yeah. So there's different weapons, and I believe they implemented some one, some weapons here. Like you have the crossbow. Which other weapons you have? Uh, you like have the a hammer, boulder, the bang the hammer. Lands. Yeah, the hammer. I, I keep hearing people joke about the hammer every time I ever see this game get done. The hammer's horrible. Yeah, it's quite difficult to to use it, but um, but it makes a lot of damage. Surprisingly, I think it, it makes the most damage. That hammer. Neat. But uh, I mean, overall, like the dagger is still the best. So here I'm gonna spawn the chest. That way I can jump on it and then just attack this guy from there. Usually you have to wait for those platforms to be like able to hit him. But this makes it quite nice. And that's the second uh, the transformation of this guy. So now I just, I just totally kill him. Nice. <laughs> That was like immediate, Jesus. Yeah, the gold armor is definitely very strong. Um, and the chest strat of the, just being able to hit him early. Yep. All right, so this one. This one can be a very tricky stage. Uh, there are like YOLO strategies. I'm not going to try to even go for those because I don't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> and second, uh, yeah. I just don't remember them. So there I'm using invisibility frames, and this game has auto fire, which is pretty nice. Like you can mix the auto fire and normal shots. So here is that little fire, fire, like that wolf, ouch! That's not what you want, but I guess it's not too bad, or is it? Well, the... Oh, it didn't show up again. All right, so I'm gonna not spawn the chest, clearly. Well, I guess we go without. So yeah, you, you can spawn three chests and then have like the, the pretty nice gold armor. So that should be chest number two. Mm, I'm just trying to think where it's gonna be the chest. So here I'm also gonna abuse the doppelganger, kind of. All right. It's pretty nice. I have not shown the other magic, but uh, the, the one I usually use is the doppelganger. It just makes very convenient a lot of these parts. Uh, well, here's supposed to be those things that uh, that's gonna be kind of interesting. Uh, I think I might have done a mistake. Yeah, I did a mistake. Yep. Well, uh, well, it's not a huge mistake. I kind of wanted to have the gold armor, and there was a chest there, but well. Let's try to think here. What to do? What to do? There's always I the hellhole. Ah? Huh? Ah, uh, the hellhole. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, that's that's a. All right. It's just any of those fires can just take me off. Uh, all right. So now that we kill that guy, you need to know where is the spawn of the hole. And there it is. All right, well, survive for a few seconds. All right. So maybe I'm gonna show you this attack. It looks like that. So that's an attack. It looks not bad. So we got the gold armor. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, there you go. Oh man, these fire foxes. Well, you want to don't troll you like that. My god! Uh, okay, take your time. Arthur, take your. My god! The Firefoxes are the meanest I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh! Alright, yeah, those are quite nasty. The little cowbells and just. And that alabaster with the slowdown? Oh my god! <laughs> and then the head this of the. This is not dragon. a nice section. 
Yeah, it is definitely not very friendly. We made it here, so in case you want to just retry here, you can get the full armor, which will give you more hits. Since I don't have the gold armor, I just retry. And here we have the fight of... Oh man, I didn't have the, the twin, bro. Uh, what is yeah, the name of Astaroth? I think that's his name. Yeah, this one's uh, Astaroth. Yep, um, so he, you can go, oh my god, you can go underneath him and just shoot him like here, which is not bad, but sometimes he can just charge at you, but since I have a lot of chance in here, I'm just gonna show you that, usually for higher difficulties you wanna, you wanna just chill in the back, especially if you have a gold armor, but Alright, so, so this is Astaroth, I'm gonna use the Doppelganger here, hopefully this platform will give me good RNG, where you can just kind of chill there and kill him, like this, that's exactly what you want. That guy can be mean and rude, uh, it was okay. And here so we the final boss of the game uh, gives you the best RNG, but like, the basic Firefoxes are just coming from all ends. Yeah. Yeah, coming from all ends, and if you're not quite fast enough, it can definitely be problematic there. Oh, dude, really? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take an intentional hit. Oh, it didn't help at all. Well, I mean, since it's not too hard. Like, here I'm gonna try to manipulate the boss so he gets that lightning attack, and I can just chill here and, and kick him. Uh, I did a lot of damage, but. Sadly, I didn't have my doppelganger, but let's see if now. So that was the boss, and we beat the the first loop. So we're gonna continue since uh, since you just keep going. But the game is like, wait a minute, you're done, but are you? And now it shows you. It gives you a pretty nice, uh, useful thing. That magic metronome, it, it, it can speed up the game. I mean, since this is kind of a chill run, I'm just gonna show you the magic metronome. Of course. And cheating on the way, right? To to make the, <laughs> to make a, up a little bit of time. So now we have a dark stage, but the magic metronome should be under options. Magic metronome. It lets you change, and you can hasten the flow of time. Did I change it? I think I did. See, like now Arthur goes at a very nice speed. So this is for hardcore players probably. Uh, meanwhile, I have to think where I want to go. This is totally a speed run, right? Sadly, <laughs> well, it's not its not yet allowed, like, for categories to... Oh my god, that, now, now I'm the last kid. Please don't die. Please don't die. I All like right. how the music also just ramps up. Yeah, it changed the pitch, which is pretty nice. You, you can <laughs> even go, like, way faster than this. Ouch. So it's, it's you quite... You want to show it off, go ahead. Say again? If you want to show up like the really fast one, go ahead. I don't... Man, what I'm doing here? Quit game? I was just trying to pause, you know, alright. Oh! Alright, oh, I didn't die. Alright. Uh, dude! It's, it's quite difficult. Alright, please don't die. Just please don't die. Dude, I told you to don't die. Well, I can show the other... Yeah, the other speed, I guess. It, it's just quite fast and... Yeah, let's see. It's a bit unstable as well, actually, playing Greatly it. Greatly like, watching, if you're wondering, like, this is really just, like, reacting to everything on times, like, two speed is wild. Ouch! No, it's, it's just... It's good, but not, not good for me. All right. Uh, let's, right. <laughs> let's, let's just put back the normal time, because that, that yeah. was just way too much. Wait, wait it's fun to from... see it though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can also slow down the time. Wow, now it definitely feels like I'm slowing down way too much, right? But this is the actual speed of the game. Which, after seeing those speeds, it feels quite wrong. Ouch. It feels quite wrong, but this is the actual speed. Alright. Um, so yeah. So, the reason why I'm just kind of taking that damage is because if you hit that one, you spawn that uh, that uh, red armor that doesn't really die. 
So now I'm gonna kill myself because in spawn that red army. This is the dark version of the first stage and, and it's definitely way, 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 way harder. So you can see dying a lot. And this is just quite a difficulty, which is supposed to be like an easy one in a way, but all you see is like a lot of pigs and more enemies jumping around trying to kill you. Everyone is trying to kill you, including those freaking bats that are there, but you cannot quite see them. Uh, all right, I'm gonna... Here's another red flame that I just... I was trying to don't hit that flame. Oh my god. Uh, where... Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to think where is the... Did they... Uh, the the Aramir disappear? I was trying to think where is the the chest. So this platter from... Hellhole? Yeah, the hell hole. But it's at the I end. Think it, I believe. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where it's... Oh, it's... um. During that one part with like all the burritos can spawn in and like there's the vines that disappear. And our I think best for friend. This one it's around there. Our best friend right here. The Mozilla Firefox are back. So lucky <laughs> this difficulty, they don't show up as much as in Legend, but they're they're just like that. Coming from heaven, killing you straight away. But so yeah, it's it's those are quite nasty. I mean, I should know better, right? That that was gonna come. I like, by the way, that uh, later on the show we're going to be having Legend, and I'm expecting the Firefoxes to be even meaner there. What? Uh, yeah, they will be meaner, for sure. Lucky for me. If everything goes well, we won't get to see this level because this is one of the dark stages that see like those four foxes just can chill around there, like sitting there, like apparently being not really offensive at all, right? Right. They can randomly chill for a lot of time. Oh, I got that one. That's the problematic one. But still not over this section. Now a mix of burritos with fire foxes. Yeah, perfect combo. Alright. We made it to the next checkpoint. So you feel a little relief every single time you reach a checkpoint. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm trying to think what is it. If you correctly, the hell hole is like, uh, it's on the next like little screen area. It's like on that lower end before you do all like the vine jumps. Yeah, it's gonna be right there. Okay, uh-huh. Oh, this is, yeah, now I remember. No, if you if you take your time, the game is not kind to you. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to go fast. Uh, all right, so I think we're good right here. Now, somewhere here is the, the, the actual deal. There we go, we spawn the chest, we kill that alabaster. Now we die because we have to go back and we make it to the hole. To the hell hole is quite a difficult thing. All right, uh, 18. So let's get our friend to help us. What the hell? Uh, did you see that bat? I didn't see it because the lights were not lightning. The bat was Shower just. difficulty is extremely mean, yeah. All right, uh, unlike the the normal stages, now for the hell hole stages, you don't have you don't get the gold armor anymore. They just give you. Sometimes a bee, sometimes absolutely nothing. And yeah, the stages just get harder and harder. Hey, let's grab that bee, why not? I mean, the game is giving it to me. But luckily, the boss is, is very similar to the first one, I think. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try to use my invincibility frames here. According to what attack he does, alright. Yep. And hopefully that will be enough for this last part. There we go. Another stage done. So this this uh, uh, stage was called the graveyard. Uh, there's a stage that looks like the super ghost. Well, not super ghost and goblins. Like yeah, super ghost and goblins from the SNES, that is the execution grounds, uh, which um, 
it's pretty nice how they they look kind of very similar but they they're a little bit different here we go to the execution grounds this execution grounds is the first one it's not it's not the shadow version so it's, it's gonna be in theory a little easier we can also use like the retry to save the two seconds right right here and yeah let's see what this level has for us well it starts with a lot of reapers it also has a lot of very nice traps it's pretty nice all right i have i, I think it's at the end where is the hell hole well the black chest i think so i know one of them's on like that moving platform and the other one's with like after the pigs with the waterfall yeah i think like that's in the shadow version and that's that's yeah. definitely ouch the, my most feared one Oops. I think the non-shadow is the one with the pigs. The non -shadow so, like the vines and like the water and it's like on like the right side, I think. The non-shadow is the one with the pigs. All right, yeah. Yeah. yeah the the shadow is the one that would be like right here-ish. Yeah. Yeah, I had then... to learn all these because I wanted to beat the game on uh, and get the true ending, and it took me. I did this like three times because I accidentally, um, I didn't collect one of them, and then apparently if you miss even one, it makes you do the whole game again. So here probably is a is a part where it can be useful. This, like just to show it off. Wow, it just took me off the platform. Nice, Lidon. Yeah, that's what you get for showing off a uh, different, a different power. That's why I don't use them. You know, it, the game doesn't stop surprising me. I swear that has never helps, happened before. If it does help, Chad appreciates it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's why it's better just to chill around here. But yeah, definitely the best place to stay is, is quite in the center in case you get one of the unwanted hits. All right, here I'm going to try to abuse the invincibility frames because that that uh, executioner thing is quite slow all right we make it to the second part of the level so you can know the second part because of the blue flag thing oh my god those guys are kind of mean so some of them go straight towards you some others decide to stop in the worst spot ever I'm gonna try to read them all right all right so I could just die at the next part right here just to recover the, the health I mean it's gonna be more convenient so you, you only lose like five seconds each time well at the end of the run that's a lot but but yeah I mean you definitely want to make it easier you oh my god Please be kind to me, are you? No, dude, it didn't collect all of it. You pig, you have to be a nice pig, thank you. <laughs> well, those cages can trap you, so probably... It's... I mean, in theory, you can just bypass them, but not like that. Mm -hmm. well, that's why you try to avoid them. All right, so... So there, there, there are some animations at certain points, but because it's a speedrun, I have to skip them. They're quite funny if you watch them for the very first time. Oh, oh I got a jump. All right, so it should be right somewhere here. There we go. Now we just kill that wizard. We kill ourselves. We retry from the banner, and we're good to go, right? A little backtracking. So most of them is not a, a huge backtracking. At least not in this category. So why why you don't know? Well, I mean, in theory you know now. Um, in other difficulties, there's um, the checkpoints are like, especially in Legend, there's only one checkpoint you get in the game. So if you have to backtrack to that point, there's a, a really a long way to go to get back to that point. So. Speed running the true ending in other difficulties makes it quite difficult, quite difficult because of the backtracking. So that that's why I've, I said like it's quite annoying the speed run yeah. of 
of true ending in all other difficulties as well. Like this one is not too bad, but uh, it is quite a long game. So in case you're used to like short games. All right, here we have this executioner. So what we want is to get him to the second phase. Now I'm gonna try to use my, my shadow to hit him a lot of times. And right there, once you stop like hitting him, that means he's in the ouch! I lost my golden armor. As I say, it's not a big deal because uh, you, you don't carry over your gold armor for the next stage. And yeah, that was the two faces. So let's grab the key. Nice catch. All right. Oh, we now get the shadow version of this. Mm -hmm. uh, So the game has a lot of books and like for example the game shows you some chests that you can get like in certain areas. Um, so there, there are like six chests you can get. Oh this is gonna be quite interesting. So now we have that new enemy and these reapers that take twice or two hits to kill. And yeah, uh, so I, I need to constantly think what to do on, on those schools are, why have this? All right, I'm gonna put the, the twin guy. Well, sometimes those guys can also take their time to move. At that time it was quite uh, immediate. Also here, we have to chill a little bit. Just chilling around. Ouch! There's too many things coming out. Uh, once again, th this is like the easy one, but definitely it just gets crazier and crazier. Oh, ouch! Okay, but now we we are dead. Hmm. Yeah, this one is definitely. You, you need some planning and you cannot just abuse of going straight all the time and take damage boost. You definitely want to, to make sure you have enough health to survive. So here for example, ouch. As I say, like sometimes you can use your twin guy, your doppelganger to, to go through stuff. So I'm gonna change the strategy. This time I'm gonna use this to get rid of those two guys. So hopefully for this next section, I can just abuse this and make it here. All right. We made it there. Um, All right. I probably... Yeah, this one's like, um, if you're wondering where I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be on like the end of like the auto scroller kind of thing. Like it's like around yeah, it's... the guillotines. Yeah, it's, it's, this one is a pretty hard one to get because, uh, well, lucky I have the doppelganger, but... Uh, it is quite in a troll spot that you have to jump a above the guillotine, but the thing yeah. is that there's too many things spawning here. And not only that, like, that's just to spawn the chest, right? Like, you can kind of spawn right. that, no problem. You have to jump have to right it. there. Like, right there, it spawns that. But yeah, like, right now, the real deal is getting that guy. All right, I got him, so now I can die. So sometimes the guillotine goes back up and it blocks your shot, so you cannot kill that magician. And if you don't kill that magician, you don't get to spawn the, the hell hole. So that's quite tricky. And here are we gonna go to, oh, I got quite lucky there, to one of the, the hardest hell holes. This one is, is quite a tricky one because you have burritos plus some flames coming at you. So you have to kill some burritos and yeah, they're quite nasty. And some of them decide just to shoot you all the time. Like that one that just doesn't want to move. All right, we got lucky. We got all lucky. Right. Like to me, that's that's a good thing. Just making it first, first uh, try, that's yeah. what you want. 
All right, now we spawn the checkpoint, we can recover our armor. As well, for anyone watching, it should be mentioned that the hell holes are very, very literal. Uh, they get immensely difficult, especially once you start getting shadow stages. Yep. All right. Here they implemented some stone guys. Well, yeah, why not? Why not? Just keep bringing stuff. Keep bringing stuff. <laughs> I think they put the plants, the carnivore plants, somewhere. Yeah, there you go. And they spawn right straight in your face. I believe it's easier to go this way. Oh, come on. All right. So there are some bees, uh, which also, it is quite interesting, this particular game, because with getting all the bees in the whole game, are, well, those are one, no, 129 or 229, I quite don't remember well right now. But yeah, it's a lot of bees. Yeah, it's a lot of bees. The, the really cool thing is that you get to. Oh my god! Oh, all right. This is not a good situation to be in. All right. Nice. Uh, yeah, getting all the bees lets you play with the Red Aramir, which is pretty nice. Uh, that that is the guys from uh, De Demon's Crest, a Capcom character. Uh, it, it's quite nice. It's really interesting and. I think like that's one of the nice implementation of the game. I believe I don't die here. All right, nice. Well, I mean, this difficulty is not quite a big deal there, but uh, it's a big deal in, in other difficulties uh, because they spawn like a lot of uh, vines there, are plants, carnivore plants that makes it quite challenging. All right, here we go to the to the boss. So if I have my doppelganger and go to the boss, it doesn't carry over, sadly. Uh, all right. Ah, that guy's just stopping me. All right, we got the next phase. Now we get the doppelganger, and hopefully, it seems to be. Well, it didn't give me quite a good RNG. All right, now we're good on damage to go to the next phase just have to walk here to the right, doesn't matter if you hit him or not. Alright, I could use my doppelganger here. If I... yeah, there you go. I was not standing in the right spot. So, that orb that you saw there is needed. As I said earlier, you need 17 orbs in order to, to get the true ending. Two are gonna be uh, in the... Inside the hell holes, one is gonna be inside the secret, uh, is secret black chest in one of the levels, and the other 14 are by just defeating the bosses. So this is a pretty nice level, the Crystalline City. Uh, it has a really good music as well. All right, before anything, let me think. Oh, I made it where the hell hole or the black chest. So it's a nice looking stage. Uh, the music is nice. Uh, in this difficulty, it's not too bad, but uh, in other difficulties, it gets really complicated. Also, one thing to notice for you is that in the second loop, it's uh, quite harder. Does it make the regular stage harder or just the sa uh, shadow stage? Uh, it's also a harder stage, like uh, if you go to the regular stage, I mean, you, you have the chance to play the normal stage in, as a second loop, uh, but it doesn't give you anything special or that just harder. Um, but yeah, the, the shadow version is definitely harder. Uh, I'm not even sure my chest count at the moment. Uh, I, I, know, I know I want a gold armor. I mean, that would be great, but the moment I don't feel also, quite positive about it. I think the hell holes in that one part with all like the ogres. Yeah, this is a, like where, where yeah. the vomiting guys are, right? Like, oh, I call them the vomiting yeah, like, guys. All right, that's not it's my. It's only that weird part. We have to go like to the left and then down, and we're coming up. To it. Yeah, it, it will come up. All right, so so I find out a really nice way of. Defeating those guys. Oh my god, the deep pad is quite mean. Wow. 
Wait, oh, this is not good. There is a chest you get. Oh, that's... So that's supposed to be my gold armor. Oh, and I'm dead. Nice. Alright. So that guy can shoot at you or charge at you. It charged at me. That was not what I wanted. But well, you just backtrack a little bit. Alright. Uh -huh. Well, we get to enjoy more music, right? Right. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the strategy I was talking about is just, just jumping back and forth on that guy. Because like there's like a sweet spot you can hit sometimes, but you have to wait until he starts moving. But sometimes, like there, he just goes to the back, he doesn't give a damn about you. And that's usually what he does. He just looks around, not being a harm. Also, here, you can hit those barrels. Ouch, wow. So hitting those barrels creates a big explosion, but if those guys are like right at the at the good time, you can damage them. Alright, I'm gonna try to skip that guy. Hit one of those things. Alright. So uh, my health is not quite good. I would love to have more at this point, but well, it is what it is. It is what it is. So there are some troll birds. Uh, also, there is a, a guy that can spawn here. All right. Uh, like he has an armor, and that's not good. The gray dude is quite difficult because he can jump around. Uh, sometimes he can troll you. All right. Now we just need to the deep path to don't fail. We spawn that chest. We kill that guy and now we can die because we can't do backtrack otherwise we'll have to go all the way around it's easier and faster just to die and make it to the hole there's like so much going on all at once with like the birds the ogres the magician the barrels the hellhole some demons like everything's happening at once <laughs> and everything is trying to kill you right <laughs> right all exactly right. yeah what a, what a what a horrible game to have a nightmare. No, what a horrible day to have a nightmare, right? Oh, it's not that game. It's close though. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, good thing we have the gold armor. Bad thing, if I don't manage to get this right, it's gonna be bad. And those birds can spawn in the really bad spot. And these moving platforms are quite not good. Okay, um, so you can make a, well, kind of get a skip in the, that platform part, but... Oh! Well, sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. Alright, now we have this guy that just decided to stay up there. Alright, once you kill him, you get Manfred. <laughs> you get to fight this dragon. This dragon has some health in this first phase that uh, is subtracted from the third phase according to to a person so what i want is to well, i already kill like all the damage that you can do i just need to get like 10 10 daggers on him so now hitting him is just getting swap points not useful at all so but it caps out at 10 um, it has like 1,000 damage and the dagger makes 100 of damage, so oh. in this uh, particular loop uh, it has 1,000 in this first phase. And if you manage to, oh my god, to get that 1,000, it just gets subtracted from the, the third phase or the last phase. It works in a really weird way and honestly I'm surprised like anyone figured out that out. Yeah. Oh. I would have just kept going. This is the second phase, not the third one. But I'm gonna get the doppelganger because sometimes you can get lucky. And that was really nice. Wow, that's that was an amazing kill. That was such a good fight. I'm proud of myself. Well, of Arthur. Just I, looking at that, that was like instantaneous. He perfectly went into like every single one of the daggers. It, also, nice catch. Yeah, it did. It did. I kind of got lucky. Uh, 
All right. Hey, well, you needed some luck after uh, how mean some of the early game levels were. Yeah, yeah. And definitely that's a boss you don't want to die in because it is... Uh, you have to fight the whole boss again, so that means like the whole auto-scrolling part of the dragon. All right. Now the shadow portion. Yeah, the shadow portion. I think this one's earlier. It's like on that part of like all the ice floors and like... Um... It's right before you get to like the snowmen. I don't remember the exact name of it or. Yeah, right before. It's like where the icicles spawn in, kind of. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, thanks. Thanks for the reminder. It's very important, like, to don't miss any of those hell holes because otherwise yeah. we won't get the true endings. Like, in most Ghosts and Goblins, you just beat the game twice. This one has these shadow versions which are slightly different like these piranhas were not there before i'm gonna get the gold armor just because we can so in here there were some flying demons uh, in the first uh, version in this uh, shadow version we have those reapers that are chasing you and here we have some plants that are not good i shouldn't have hit that one all right so what I want is to make it to the end, kill the whole... Oh, here is where it's supposed to be. All right. Yeah. So you just get a precise jump. Then you kill that guy and you're good to go back. I'm going to kill myself here in this hole. I mean, I could have just go back, but it's way faster to go this way. All right. Right. And now, I like this one. It's a lot of precise jumping. So this one survived for 15 seconds, not too bad. So this is a nice spot you can be at, but except that sometimes the spider can spawn in a in a spot that you cannot hit her. So now we have more of a chill area right now. I've actually been wanting to ask. So uh, what ended up getting you into like speedrunning all these like difficult games? Oh. Uh, well, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Well, this one in particular, I know like what happened. Like I, I got the opportunity to play a sponsor game um, from Capcom, the arcade stadium uh, game that has a lot of arcades. So I was asked to, to choose some games to play uh, from the whole arcade and I was like, well, which game could be interesting for people to watch? Well, I was like, well, Ghosts and Goblins is like, not a bad one. Oh, this is not good. All right. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, I think Ghosts and Goblins is not a bad one for people to watch. So that was the arcade version of Ghosts and Goblins and the arcade version definitely is way harder. I didn't expect it to be hard. I couldn't even beat the first Ghosts and Goblins Arcade. I got stuck in the second loop in the in one of the stages. So that was around the same time that this game was coming out, like I think two days before. So for that reason, I was like, well, I mean, since I played the Ghosts and Goblins and they're quite nice, like I did enjoy a lot the Ghosts and Ghosts Arcade. I played, I, I previously beat the TG16 version and it was hard as hell. So the arcade was pretty much the same, hard as hell. The good thing is I managed to successfully beat that one or speedrun that one. That way, uh, I was like, well, let's try out this game. And I tried since the day one. And as usual, like, when I play day one a game, like, there's no spoilers, people don't know what to do, they don't know where to go, etc., etc., which makes it very nice and enjoyable for me because getting into a right. new game and definitely people not telling you what to shoot, what to do, is quite enjoyable because you play the game at your own pace. And usually I tend to learn games quite fast. I try to figure out the games. Sometimes I figure them out the wrong way. No, no, no. All right, I made a joke. That was nice. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, what was the, uh, the first game you ever learned? Uh, oh, the first game uh, that I ever speedrun uh, was uh, yeah. Baltos on the NES. All right, we get to to get the shadow version of this one. I believe the the damage is still the same. So you can get damaged by the tail, 
or by those things. But yeah, Baltus was the first game uh, I, 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 I do like. Also, Baltus got into SGDQ. I'm gonna be showing the game in the 100% yeah. difficult, well, difficult speed run, which is like the less glitched one. Uh, and it's kind of like the way everybody, every YouTuber wants you to play the game. Like, right. oh, you didn't play all the snake. Oh, you didn't show <laughs> all the rats. Oh, why did you skip the rat? Well, you get to show the game the way, ouch, most of people want you to play it. That was I mean, one, I know you have, uh, you have some incredible feats, both battle toads and in general, because I know like the whole comment of like, oh, you're not doing it the right way. So then you ended up doing the, uh, what, what was it? The Cuphead hater percent? Yeah, that that's one of the reasons I, I did that category because, oh, this is gonna be bad. See, as you can see, that guy kind of chases you. Oh, and damn, just boxers, Arthur. This is not good. Please, don't. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm clenching my ball right now, very right. hard. Ah, oh, right, we're still alive. So I, I don't know what is the spot he's gonna show up. Please don't be mean. All right, that doesn't seem like a bad one, but he's coming for me. Yeah, he was coming for me. Damn, that's, as I said, not a good death to take, damn. All good, all good, <sighs> we have an estimate for a reason. Yeah, I don't think we're anywhere good on this. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll be uh, fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's such a like one of the things you learn in this game in this difficulty is it's better to just retry to lose five seconds instead of being in your last hit and lose like two minutes. That's right. really bad. And for five seconds, yeah. So I, I didn't have an extra hit, and I went for for it. I was like, yeah, like last time I just killed it, he didn't even touch me. What could go wrong this time, right? Overconfidence, that's that's a bad thing in speedrunning. The story of her life, trying to save five seconds, you lose minutes. So yeah, the first thing you try to read that guy, and that's not good, because there I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I did it. Nice. But that tail has like a bigger hitbox. And yeah, this is one of the things. You you don't have a clue where he's going to spawn. Well, sometimes it looks very easy. Like if you don't have your doppelganger in the right spot, you cannot quite damage him. All right, let's be bolsy here. Nice. That was nice. There I, I know that he's going up because of the way his face way like he's facing I mean okay there you go see like it didn't look like a big deal this time but yeah a lot of is RNG dependent all right well we're out all right and now probably also, to answer a quick question I saw earlier in chat uh, yep. the run is indeed live everything happening right now is live TMR is live however mm -hmm. chat is pre-recorded yeah, chat, chat is always pre-recorded, right? <laughs> exactly. Chat's always planned. <laughs> yeah, We're the, live, though. Yeah, this is live. It's, it's, it's quite a shock because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning for me. But, well, that's the perfect timing to play spooky games, right? Ouch. All right, this in is... In fairness, like, uh, in the East Coast, it's like, uh, I think, what, like midnight right now? So it is fitting on that end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have midnight. So, probably, yeah. I want to take a hit, but I don't. Uh, I mean, the, the hell hole is, is quite somewhere here at the beginning. But yeah, right now... Yeah, so awkward hell hole in the game. Yeah, this is really strange. I, I have not found a better way of getting to it, other than just trying to spawn it here. But right there was the... The black chest so in order to get there you have to take the hit go back to that crab and now you have to make it without taking a hit well i mean not not necessarily but you want to kill the 
Ouch. No, I didn't kill him. Damn it, man. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That is bad because right now I died there. If I would have spawned the hell hole, I could have go to the hell hole with zero damage, which is bad. But uh, anyway, that was a rip. Now I have to retry and get to spawn again the chest. And it's in a very accurate position that this bridge is like falling apart. And uh, so you don't have your time to, to get that rid of that guy. Also, you cannot jump to the front to the hell hole. All right, I tried to take one hit there on the chest. So this game is very unforgiven. That's all I can say. Definitely, it's not very optimized. Uh, especially like the true ending difficulties, it, it does still have some deaths. All right. Oh, it was three hits before it was taking like two hits. Wondering why. All right, we have twenty. Twenty of these guys is not too bad, right? As I was saying, it's not too bad. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Yeah, what could go wrong? My god. Alright. We got one more. Ah, this stage is a really main stage. I'm gonna take the dead here. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the dead since we reached the checkpoint. So there's a lot of crabs. If you and actually this is faster because the spawn of those freaking on dead guys is not quite good so you have a lot of hazards right here uh, you have a wind that is like pushing you back uh, you have those guys spawning so I'm, I'm trying to play quite safe because you can get hit to the back and that's not good that section went well it's like if you think about it like yeah I spent five seconds uh, so in here intentionally I'm not shooting because if you shoot, you spawn that guy. That Red Red Ramir. I was saying, I'm not shooting as I was shooting the guy up, right? Like, if you don't shoot, you don't spawn that Red Ramir. But if you shoot, you spawn the Red Red Ramir. That it was, was just a demonstration. Yeah, just a demonstration. What could go wrong? Red Ramir is really bad. You cannot hit him. Uh, yeah, my god. Like this guy, this game has its way, and all this is quite RNG, like that thing, like how are you supposed to dodge that one? So you definitely want to make it to the next checkpoint, that's all you want for Christmas. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge in here. Alright. So this time I didn't shoot, the red armor didn't spawn. I make it to this, and here we go. Oh, this, this part is... It doesn't have the Firefoxes, right? It doesn't, but it does introduce, like, this Goliath guy that is not good. It's not good for your health. It has those guys also there in the bottom, so as long as you kind of keep one path, you should be fine. But the game is designed to troll you with those... Why did I pause? to build some tension, uh, but yeah, we we clear that, that's good, alright, we got another checkpoint, Arthur gets to live one more day, um, oh this is not quite good, I'm actually wondering what I should do, I don't have a clue, let's go here, and die soon, man those, oh, <laughs> Some mean swoops happening right now from the uh, mini demons. Yeah, like they just keep spawning. They never stop. All right, please make it. No, it didn't make it. Damn it. All right, we're just chilling here with the red dudes. So I'm just trying to find an opening. All right, please make it to the next checkpoint. And this checkpoint is a nightmare. It's a real nightmare. I'm just going to die straight away. In order to... you made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but yeah, this checkpoint is, is quite difficult because these platforms quite don't move the way you expect them to move. You, you think they balance in a, in, a, in a way, but they actually don't. So it's quite hard to 
it. Yeah. Nice spider right there where you need to jump and make it through. Ah, right. Yeah, they're gonna troll, right? Yeah, they're gonna troll. Take you down. Die right there. Ah, yeah. This is... mean. This is a nightmare to run in other difficulties. Also, notice that the lava in the very bottom is coming up. That is quite, quite difficult. Quite difficult because you don't have your time. You can go to the right somehow, but... You can go to the right, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not very familiarized with that route. Let's just go straight, but... Oh, okay, I made it there. Still not the end. Oh, okay. Now we made it to the boss. All right, since, since I learned my lesson last time, let's take the five seconds there. All right, now we have... I, I believe these bosses have a little more health in this loop, but I could just be lying to you. So as I say, like, I go down for this uh, red guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the red guy first. Ah, couldn't get rid of the other guy, but it's fine. So the reason of the red guy is like you can just kind of chill below this pink guy and nothing is gonna hurt you. And if you are fast enough, you have some time. Since I have the doppelganger this time, I should be good to get through this section quite fast. Also, it's RNG what he does, like where he comes from. Like there's different spots, but... Uh, Oh yeah, with the doppelganger, like, you deal double damage. That's quite convenient. There are many other, many other magics that I'm not buying, but uh, you can have a triple ganger, which is, like, pretty nice. All right, more caverns here of the cult. Huh. Yeah, we'll be getting the, the good ending. We're playing right now in square difficulty, which is supposed to be the easy one, but... But it's not that easy. Ouch. The ceiling can hurt you. Things can troll you. Stuff can kill you. Yep. Quite the I game think, winning. Um, for the game itself, when it does the second loop, it amps up to around what Legend would normally be. Except you have more hits, you have all the checkpoints. But in terms of like the enemies and the like obstacles, it's closer to like loop one Legend, I think. I do believe is the third the loop. Oh, come on, nice spawn peak. All right, those things were right there trying to get me. Wow. All right, I have an option here, which is maybe trying to see what the hell is the door is there. It was just a fairy, so that was not worth. It's better to take the death there. Oh, this is this is the worst level in terms of the of the hell hole. It's right, right at it's the like, end. And then you have to go back again to like the midpoint. Yeah, lucky for us, in like uh, legend difficulty, there are there is a checkpoint a little closer, but still is quite annoying. The worst thing is that if you somehow manage the chest, like you lose a bunch of time, a bunch of time. And somehow, like, this seems to be a little easier in this, uh, in this, uh, in the shadow version than in the actual regular version. Some stages have that, uh, like, they make it way more difficult in the normal version. Ouch. Okay. Didn't get hit. That's good. All right. Let's just get used of the magic to show it off. All right, they're making it here. They're called burritos. Yeah, according to the game, they're called burritos. All right, we have those armor guys that are dropping from the ceiling. So in here, you don't want to shoot in unwanted places. What the hell was that? All right, my God, that's the best dodger from from the Wild Wild uh, Dungeon. All right, we make it here. 
Uh, let's just take it safe. Let's just take it safe. So sometimes it's worth like just to take an intentional hit and then go to a chest because there's a chance, a chance like the very first chest will contain. Oh my God! This burritos take two hits. Nice, we don't burritos. All right, two hits, you die. So remember that first section that it was quite easy. Not this one. Not this one, they impl implemented some guillotines there. So that's something to take into consideration. Uh, a lot more mean. I'm wondering if I should go for the shop again, just to buy whatever. I mean, for the speedrun, I don't bees. really need anything else right now, but trying to think of something. Oh my God, look at that. I mean, the only way is using what I had here, which was the doppelganger, but I didn't think ahead of time. All right, this can be catastrophic, this part, if, if I get turned, well, if you don't kill those, uh, those alabasters, it can go really bad. Oh my God, all right. Uh, what is that? All right, that was a fairy. The next chest should be a, a, a gold chest, gold armor. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. The reason why I want the gold armor is just to have more hits, nothing else. Because since we have to die, the gold armor doesn't really matter that much. All right, this is a very difficult part. Wow. Wow! Okay. No! All right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, there's something that I hate, and that's the D-pad. I do complain a lot. Sometimes when you press left, the guy just looks up like that. Just like that. That's me pressing left in the D-pad. Oh, it's from here. Damn. All right, some time waster. I... If you take way too long, you can also die. I didn't think on time, but luckily wasn't catastrophic there. But yeah, there's many things that can go wrong in this game. And yeah. All right, sometimes if you want, if you really want, you can chill here, but you have to keep jumping. Otherwise that uh, chest uh, with the weight of Arthur, oh my God. It's impossible to jump those, those guillotines. So those chests with the weight of Arthur like uh, break. So they, all right, let, let's try to be in the tail and abuse of the doppelganger. Whenever I'm gonna, about to get hit, I'm gonna use it as a strategy. All right, that was, that was one of the users. Oh my God. Oh, this is not good. All right, I got really lucky by that hit. If it boosts me to the other side, I was dead. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's not the end. That's not the end, but getting to the next checkpoint is what you want. Here we're gonna use the, the doppelganger because as you saw, that guillotine was, and that one, those were mean, like, like really, this game, and they're always different, always different. Th that's what makes this speedrun very challenging. Like in this yeah. difficulty and in any other difficulty, like it's just really, really, really random. You have to not only know what to do, but react as well and plan accordingly. Also, there is a downtime. Like I'll, I have seen a lot of people use like the 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 rock because it lets you have some keys. I don't use the rock as much. I mainly use the doppelganger. All right, my best friend. He shoots that, and it stays right there almost on the screen. See, like shooting that is not. Oh wow, it was a gold armor. All right, let's take it. Oh, all right. So now more mean burritos. Oh no. Oh, mean medusas. These medusas can be really bad because they can shoot. And if they shoot, ah, oh, the butts. Well, first remember what to do. First remember what to do. If you don't get rid of those medusas, 
Man, I'm not remembering. I'm... Okay. See. <sighs> All right, here we go. I have to spawn this chest because in order to spawn the, the black chest, I have to be up there and that's the only way. If I spawn the checkpoint right to the right, then I will have to backtrack like a lot in the stage. Yeah, th God, that whole section. I want to give a round of applause, even though just me, you could have on the slight clapping and whatever chat does with their potential clapping. Because God, the amount of just the jellyfish, the uh, all the dragons and not missing the very end. It's always just wild watching that. Yeah, and to be fair, like this difficulty changes also like the speed of the of the yeah. snakes there at the end. That honestly, it caught me off guard. Like I was, especially if you per play the first loop, then you're just like used to that speed, and suddenly it was just faster, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. The good thing I had the gold armor. Like I could take like a hit just in case. All right, the hill hole is right there. It's not a good place to be at. All right, let's let's call the doppelganger. Nicely done. Totally useful doppelganger, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just instantly falls You down. worthless this doppelganger. Is, uh, this is one of the easier hell holes after having to go through the hell of getting it. It's much nicer just to kill like what five ogres. Yeah, it's definitely easier in this difficulty but it can be a little tricky in others all right we don't have the gold armor uh, i'm wondering what i should do uh. all right let's see if you want to make double damage but the guys all right this is not good all right it was not good because I was at the spot that it was gonna boost me to the to that other weapon, and you don't want that other weapon. So here you you get to see the shining, the shining, that that uh, Henki Dama from the guy. All right, we got rid of him. That's good. But yeah, I definitely didn't want it to change the uh, the weapon. Right. Because the next stage uh, usually is a nightmare. I'm gonna see how it's gonna be. The next stage has like the hidden one, right? Like the hidden orb that's like all the way on the left side of the boat worm thing. Yeah, it After does. After getting the hellhole by the fire. Yeah, this hellhole, I really don't like the, the, the location. Oh, yeah. uh, and and this this one in particular implements a lot of more freaking eyes. So the first thing is go as fast as you can, as usually. Uh, so it has some burritos, some that some of those that take one hit, some others take two hits, like that blue one. You have to be aware of that. But yeah, you definitely don't want to spawn like the red armors and our best friends right here. All right, they actually behave quite a lot. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. All right, um, not sure. No, we spawn a red Aramir. All right, we have an option. The option is to hope for the best, and that's the option. We need to spawn that chest. All right, please die. All right, we managed to kill him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> really good. <laughs> See, it was all planned. It was all intended. It was all planned. Yeah, and and the hell hole is right here. All right, this one has a few of these. So I believe from experience, it's way better and safer just to be in this spot. That's from experience. All right, it didn't went bad. So this should spawn us right here. So put attention because, uh, is it here? All the way on like the bottom left. Yeah, it was not there. Done. You might need to 
All right, this is not yeah. going well. This is not going well at all. All right, uh, we're gonna see this bug a little bit. It's all the way to the left, but it was possible to, like at some point, like here, you're supposed to, there you go. There we got it? There you get to, to spawn the, the checkpoint, the checkpoint, the, right. uh, the black chest. All right, now I need to be on the other side. There we go. So right there, that's another orb. I expect nothing less from chat <laughs> than to put orb there. See, like, oh, this game is really mean in many ways uh, because we're gonna wait one more cycle. We're taking it safe. Because the game doesn't even tell you that you need orbs or hell holes or anything at all. You just play, but once you beat the second loop, then instead of having here in the pause screen those bees to show you the bees it shows you something different oh uh, i probably should have like kind of counted or something mm. did i spawn a chest i didn't spawn a chest so i probably should die right here just to make it easier on me i mean this this is the part that you should fear the most like when you're playing th this game for the first time, it's quite difficult. Yes. It's very claustrophobic on this part. Yeah, you don't have that much room. And those things can shoot you at any time, right? Yeah, w whether those piranhas shoot immediately or a little after, it's according to, to the weather. You can never predict the weather, right? So you cannot predict those piranhas as well. I know there is a piranha somewhere up there. Uh, so yeah, it's quite... Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. This is fine. Still like half of this checkpoint to go. And more hazards to go. The enemies are different this time. We are getting a lot of zombies. Sometimes... Oh my god! See, so... Sometimes they can be nice, sometimes they can be just a huge troll. Alright. So. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect time to read donations. Oh, we got a <laughs> donation from. Greetings from Germany. First time donator, last time watcher. What? It's getting oh. nice and ready for the, uh, the SGDQ run. Yeah, we're getting nice and r well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking everything out here. Damn, this is too stressful. If I die, we're gonna lose ones. a bunch of time. And the next part can have some very nasty dudes. Ah, I'm starting to feel the kick in of, of the overnight thing. What to do? All right, don't. Oh my god, man! That's a weapon you don't want. Oh. Alright, we killed that guy. Now we just have to, to make a heroic jump. Yeah. Spawn the checkpoint, die, and we're right there. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright there. This is fine. Uh, that worked out. <laughs> yeah, it worked out pretty well. All planned. Ah, okay. Now. Alright, I just call my doppelganger. And hopefully... Never mind. I was saying hopefully that thing just spawns where it needs to be. Spawn there, please. Make as much damage as possible. Oh, that was not good. Well, I mean, we did some amount of damage, but... All right, uh, yeah, see, it's like out of reach. Out of reach, trolling reach, I will say. Dude, my god, man. He is not being kind. That thing is gonna break very soon, and I really don't wanna change my weapon. So I'm just gonna hopefully take it safe. So if you're below him, you cannot hit him. 
And he's getting rid of everything. All right, this should be fine. There you go. He was like three hits away of, of the next phase. All right, now it's pulled like really, really high up. All right, please. He knew that fa uh, loop one was a very easy fight, so you had to make it uh, a lot tougher this time. <sighs> uh, yeah, the tough thing is that for the loop one, I'm more like used to routing to have the the gold armor. Gold armor. So that makes so much easier and faster the fights. But without the gold armor, they're more difficult. All right. See, like, we cannot see at all how many orbs we have. You just have to trust that I have the, the good amount. I and think we're... there's one more hellhole, right? Uh, yeah, there's one more hellhole and... And more hazards to go. Oh my god. All right. So I was kind of ready to get some... That phase. So also more enemies too. Uh, more enemies and this part is quite nasty like if you try to go straight it can be very difficult because of red army so the real strat is to wait until he charges at you I'm calling my doppelganger there you go that was look oh my god thank you for saving me here all right let's open that way though <laughs> So getting rid of that red army is what you want, uh, definitely. Oh my god, nice. All right, so now what do we have here? Some stones. I believe this one is better just go like this. All right, I think I know where is the, the, the black hole. But I do not remember this part. Is this the one with all the heads? Yes. Oh, huh. I'm sorry to tell you that, but yes, I think this is when all the heads just spawn while you're jumping. All right, I remember like a speedrun way was just going YOLO, but looks like I cannot just go YOLO. Also, I think the hole is on the one where the, uh, like the pink platforms. Oh, please. The pink, yeah, it's somewhere here. But that's my best friend. Well, I'm gonna. Oh my god, man. Nah, yeah, of course. We have a lot of friends here. Is he gonna come oh, back? Oh, just the reamer. Alright, please. Just charge once more. Oh my god, man. Ah, nice try. Okay, we killed that guy. All right, we need to take our time. It's somewhere in the right, I know, but... I think it's near the top. Yeah, just don't remember exactly how. Like, do I have to... Where to jump? There you go. There's where you jump. All right, now you kill that. So we have two options. One is try to go YOLO, which clearly that's what we're gonna do, because why not? <laughs> and die there. Boom. Nice. All right. It's not too bad dying in that particular one, since you can right. just jump here and make it back up there. So now we're back. It wasn't too bad. This time, the timer, the clock last time gave us like a lot of seconds. This time was only 10 seconds. Well, I mean like 12 seconds, which is pretty good if I don't take hits, because you can grab that orb that wasn't the last one we still have one more orb to go the orb you get it after killing this guy so that that wasn't too bad right if right. i somehow managed to get everything right we might still be below estimate oh uh, we the did bump it up a little bit just in case we did what it's bumped up slightly just in case for the estimate Oh, okay, that's yep. that's kind. Yeah, well, it's that's... just a lot more laid back, a lot more chill. Like, I yeah. understand how hard the second loop of this game is. I fully understand. Yeah. I feel like I'm kind of torturing all the runners today by making them play probably one of the hardest game franchises ever made. Oh, I should have used it there. Well, all right. 
Let's see. Hopefully I get some good RNG, that guy doesn't disappear, but I'm not positive. So here you have like to read what the hell he's gonna do, and that's definitely what you don't want him to do. Alright, so yeah. So these platforms are heavy RNG, and you don't know where the guy is just gonna decide to stop. Like there, like if I go down, or when they're gonna drop too. Damn, this is such a bad RNG. I mean, good thing we have hits to take. All right, please. Still bad RNG. Like that other pillar was blocking all my way. All right, please. Dude, just let me hit you. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, there's also a chance that you spawn your guy and it can hit him. Not there. Oh, this is not good. Dude, jump to the left! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. It's so close and so far at the same time. So close, no matter how far. Damn it, man. Just come here. Astroth really doesn't want to die. Oh, there you go, like three hits away. That's that's all right. That's all right. Damn, that guy just killed our estimate of 140. I think that's the uh, the final orb of the game, by the way. Oh, that was the final orb? Yeah, I did not orb. notice. All right, for this is very important to get back your... Yeah, right. I missed the last orb. I didn't say orb. I know well, I... you can say it now. It still works. Even chat misses it, the or, unless there's some delay. There's a little bit of a delay, so they're gonna see it. Like uh, from what I can see on the screen for the uh, for that end, it's about to finish the boss. Why is not going to the other attack? Good. Just do the other sure. attack. Never mind. So it was asked a little bit earlier uh, by a few people. Well, what's the difference between like regular and true ending? Um, so true ending actually features a secret boss, which is why, you know, it's, it's in the category. It's kind of like the actual game completion and all that. So after this boss, you're going to be seeing one more boss. And the thing is, if you take any hits here, it carries over to that boss. And there's no way to get back armor. So yeah, that's it what makes being, this boss harder. That's why I'm being so careful. So right here, like right. usually the game ends, but if you get all the orbs, you get to the last uh, loop. Like you get this beautiful score screen since we went a little ahead ahead above let's just see the animation it's like what is this the true ending well that for our all the orbs so we make it to this guy that is called i think hades uh yeah hades oh i usually call it hades but yeah hades yeah so it can be quite rough uh sometimes it can be your friend. So he has an attack, like he just makes his head to the front. It has been nice so far. All right. Might give me the other attack? No, he didn't. All right. Nice. And time. All right. Honestly, if Astaroth wasn't being mean, that would have been right on estimate. Yeah, I believe Technically, so. Technically, it still is right on estimate. It did go under the estimate we made. Okay, yeah, that's that's thanks to yeah. you, right? Well, I have, it all works out. I want to say thank you for running, and uh, really quick, if anyone wants to find you on Twitch, where can they find you? Oh, they can find me on or The anywhere, Mexican really. Runner. Yeah, twitch.tv slash The Mexican Runner. There's where I usually stream. Uh, my stream is very very strange sometimes i can be played the worst game you have ever seen in your life the most obscure games you have seen in your life and you're wondering why are you doing that to yourself well i don't have a clue i don't have the answer but one day i will find it and sometimes i could be speed running right so right so yeah if you like what you see whenever you see this make sure to follow and check that out so really quick, I have good news and bad news, not only for TMR, but for chat. Um, definitely don't go anywhere. Uh, we're going to be right back really quick. Uh, this is going to be a quick be right back because uh, not only we're going to be doing True Ending Squire, 
Uh, we talked about how hard Legend is, so TMR is going to be doing a True Ending Legend. We'll be right back. Take a quick moment to stand up, touch your toes, stretch your legs, do what you need. We're going to be right back very quick. As well, um, during the interim of GDQ shows, uh, we run the hot picks to uh, kind of keep it all going. So any subs, gifted subs, Prime, is all appreciated as it does help keep the show a running during the breaks. So we're going to be right back really quick with Legend One Loop. All right, we are back. We're, we haven't gone anywhere. Uh, not only do we have the ability to see the true ending in this game, but a lot of people always ask, what's the legend like? How hard is the legend? So uh, TMR is joining us yet again uh, to show us exactly how brutal Legend 1 Loop is. So feel free to take it away. Yeah, welcome back, everyone. We are going to play Legend, and yeah, that's... <sighs> that's very scary, to be honest. And that's, that's what people want to see, right? Like, it's like, how can you take four hits? Well, no, we can only take two. So we're gonna start soon, the timer. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, All right. legend difficulty. So, very difficult. Very, very, so, very, very difficult. So, so what does legend do exactly? Uh, you will see very soon. <laughs> I know, believe me, I know. I beat, I beat the game once on Legend, and then once I got to the Shadow levels, I immediately quit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you just got this game and start playing on Legend, you can get really frustrated very quick. Like, there's like thousand spawns straight away, like right now, and that makes it very difficult. Also, like, you don't have... Uh, you don't have as many hits, you only have one checkpoint, like the middle checkpoint. Classic Ghosts and Goblins, right? Yep. Uh, what else? I forgot to mention that this game is the very first time that has been run in a marathon. This is how new is this game, and also how cool, too. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so now we need to get lucky. Alright. So I took my hit, hopefully, hopefully I can make it to the half of the level without dying. Please, please just make it. Please just make it. Oh, also, yeah, there is more enemies as you can see. Now it's just the red Aramir blocking the half weight. Please don't go down. Okay, we made it. <sighs> All right. <laughs> So once you reach the checkpoint, I, I, I always try there to get rid of the red army right. so it's, it's not bugging. Plus, I recover sort of a little armor. All right. Okay. The deep pad didn't throw me. So yeah, it's, it's really scary, this difficulty. It's definitely... It's a joy to watch if done properly, but damn, and it's just like, look at, look at that. Like, what do you even do yeah. there? Like, like, seriously? And all that is, ah, reaction. <laughs> like there, if the I get The game is hit, really mean on Legend. It's really mean. It's really mean. I still don't have the dagger, so on top of everything, we still need to try to get the dagger. Uh, all right, here I'm gonna try something that didn't work. Oh, that was quite bad. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do. Because, I mean, the <laughs> there's a chest that can give me an armor there ahead, but it's not, it's not quite easy to get because of those plants. Oh my God, uh, well, let's try here. It's very important to know chests. That way you can grab an armor, oh, like there. <sighs> All right, yeah. So you definitely need to know the, the, the game, the spawns in and out. Uh, right. Sometimes those burritos can be really fast, like that bottom one. Sometimes they're really slow. Like right now, the burrito that was stopping me last time, it was not there at all. So that is how the game is. Uh, I could get a gold armor. Question, shall I? All right, let's do this thing right all right all right we got that right oh my One. oh there we go 
There we go. God, those eyes just threading the needle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for the sound effects. These are no, no, live sound it's effects. Uh, like every jump, Arthur is fighting his life off. Every jump, every single jump. Dude, don't, don't. I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, he died. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. All right, that should be like a, like a armor, but I don't need that armor. I need, not that, not that. All right. So we reach the end checkpoint, which, uh, unlike other Ghost and Goblins games, it puts you right at the boss. Uh, which that's good. All right, now we just need to fight this boss. And we're out of stage one. Easy, easy. But yeah, a lot of burritos that are really random makes this very, <laughs> very difficult. And that is just stage one. So the fun is just starting, right? Yep. My God. I don't know how you con convinced me to, to run this category. <laughs> It's better, how did I convince you to run two categories? Yeah, actually, that's true. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, I can give you a fun fact about Arthur if it makes you feel better. Okay, yeah, it does. Well, lucky for us, we don't have to beat 14 stages. Right. It's this only time, five. we only have to beat five stages. So, Hellfire Hamlet is a harder, harder, way harder level than the crystalline city this one is also not a marathon friendly but it's faster so that's a good reason for a speedrunner to that's a bad hit all right yeah. so before we get into the the actual hell of the level did you know that the uh arthur wears strawberry boxers strawberry someone say that yeah. it was a calvin klein boxer yeah i always thought there were hearts uh, apparently they're strawberries Okay. No, I, I didn't know. Yeah. I mean, I... I, I but, learned really recently. Like, when you look at them, they're apparently have always been strawberries. All right. So I, that's the fun fact. I took a hit there. What shall I do now? Ah, dude, dude, just move! Oh, man, this d pad is so bad. Okay, we're still surviving. <laughs> okay, more sound effects coming from my side. There might be any unwanted. It's still getting or meaner too with the uh, all the swarms of wow. like flies coming from the left. Yeah, no checkpoints. That makes it quite bad. Please, be no, that thing was not a an armor. All right, now I have to ah to get really lucky. I think there's one coming up for armor, but I could be wrong. It is, but one hit will kill me right, right. now. And there are too many friendly turtles right there that are like random when they show up or not. Oh, we got the armor. I got a hit too. <laughs> That's not cute, but... Oh, okay. If this red armor cooperates, we should be fine. Please cooperate. Dude, not down there. Okay. We're fine. All right. Oh, we can breathe. Oh. <laughs> oh. There we go. If you thought that was the hardest part, this is the actual hardest one, and I'm definitely yeah. retrying straight away. Yeah. Your because... friends, the Firefoxes, are back, <sighs> and this time they are meaner, they are faster, they are, they are a legend. And they're more too. Damn. Yeah. I know it looks really bad uh, taking a hit and restarting right there, but believe me, it's way better than than restarting later on. So those fire foxes can stop at any given point in time and leave a fire, a track of fire. All right, I wanted to spawn that okay, that chest, dude. Really? Okay. Uh. Yeah, I wanted that chest because that way I can I can get a, an armor. I mean, ideally I wanted a gold armor. No, these bats. 
these bad the spiders there's too many enemies on screen to keep track yeah they're everywhere trying to all right i'm definitely waiting for that so usually there was a checkpoint here there is not a checkpoint in legend because we're legend right Rep. lost that guy takes more kids all right uh Please, we do. All right. God, we got an armor. We got ourselves one more hit to take. That's good. Luckily, it's not needed. All right. Um, so now this guy with no doppelganger. Please, RNGs. Okay. I'm gonna. No, that's really bad. Oh come on, man. It's just a hitbox works in mysterious ways. Please, all right. Oh my God. Well, I mean, we make it to the last phase, but this dude can do anything. And I don't have many hits to take. Or actually none. Yeah. <sighs> it's up to the RNG here. I'm gonna try my best, but my God, this can be difficult. So that's not exactly what you want. I don't know what he's gonna do, all right? Uh, well, please, just don't be mean. All right, that's kind of a good RNG. I need that to... Oh, that was good. That was good. All right. Whew, two out of five. <laughs> Three more levels. Three more levels. I mean, in theory, I could just go to the shop. I have four fairies. All right, that was not good. And I can buy something. So the next one is the doppelganger, but I need four fairies. So yeah, we're still in crisis. This particular checkpoint is the worst the worst because there's yeah there's a guy who can be very rng -ish. not to mention there's a lot of bats that that are right there out for blood i think this stage took me eight hours to beat on legend okay we took a hit so in theory that's something we can grab right okay Okay, oh, huh. so not very sure how it... Oh my god, man, this dude. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Uh, so if the Red Army spawns here, this is going to be very bad. Please don't spawn. All right, the guy didn't spawn. Oh, he made it there. But I already took the armor. That means... That means good luck to us. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening with... Uh... Arthur being in his, his boxers here. Yeah. Oh my god, man. God, and there's more green dudes there. Oh! I don't have a clue if that was a, a... Dude, I'm pressing left. Oh my god. No! I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I just... I, I cannot take it, this. I cannot there's take so it. There's so many. There's so many. The guy's not moving what I command. Oh, man. This is... Too much. Please. All right, just grab that. All right. Nah, I'm straight to the freaking hole. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. A cheap hit, man. All that surviving for nothing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And then the problem with this stage is we talked about the how Legend doesn't have uh, checkpoints. Uh, I think the checkpoint for this is after the dark cave at the top, which is probably going to be the worst part of this whole section somehow. Yeah, it's quite difficult. So now I just hope... All right, I had to wait a little bit there. Oh my God, this is now very bad. If that... Oh no. All right, didn't show there. Oh my God, man. Lucky, least... if I manage to get the, the chest, it should be an armor. Bad thing. 
if the freaking D-pad throws me. All right, that should be an armor. I know that. Now we just need to grab it. Nice. All right. I don't. I don't even know what to do. I mean, I do have this thing that I have seen people use that. Probably should have used that. See how easy it becomes. It's just I'm not used to using that. And it's not because I want to show off, I'm just not used to. But I feel like it will kill me changing something. Oh my god, man. What do you... What do you even do there? Oh my god, they did it again. The worst is that's... Oh my god. Yeah, of course, we're starting over. Ah, man, this... As I say, it's a joy to watch if it goes right, but if it goes bad, like, oh my, one simple hit can just... Your chat's still having a good time. People rooting for you. Yeah, you can totally have a good time playing this. <laughs> this difficulty, all right. I know the feeling, trust me, I know what? the feeling very well this game. <laughs> you can relate to the feel, like that alabaster died, spawning um, on your face. I think 1,600 times beat Legend once. All right. Well. All right. This time look really nice. Yeah. All the all the practice pay off, right? Exactly. Two times dying. Definitely, we're now experts at this. So who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get a gold armor. But it's really annoying those guys. Like shooting at random. The deep pad failing. Also at random. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait until it comes out on Switch. On Switch, on, on Steam. Just to use a different D-pad. I'm not a big fan of analog sticks, uh, so yeah, I feel more comfortable with D-pad. All right, this should be it. Oh my god. Okay, we survived that part. There we go. We have a gold armor. <sighs> Let's do now to this part. <sighs> ah, this is not gonna be good at all. This is not gonna be good at all. I'm sorry, oh, it's just no. that part is quite difficult because you cannot see anything at all. And it's really hard to... What? Oh my god. It's a precise jump that you have to do there. And and yeah, it just killed me, that jump. <sighs> and we have to do the whole auto-scroller part. My godness. Uh, yeah, this is, this is quite rough. It's rougher than I expected it to be. So well, um, if if we have to mercy kill at some point, like really believe me, feel free to do it. We'll, we'll like, see what happens. Yeah, I'm still gonna try my best in here, but yeah. But RNG has to be on your side. All right, I need to Very open. Very mean game. Pretty mean. I'm gonna as well. I think we should still have. I think some time to add to estimate if need be, but we'll see how it uh, is going. Uh, we do have one more run at the end of this, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, I really love that there is RNG, but honestly, you don't, you don't want the RNG to be having a marathon run. Oh, okay. Oh, this is... I don't know what is that. Let's see. <sighs> it's just 
Ah. Yeah, what... Don't stress them. Uh, we'll add a little bit to the estimate here, and then if things go the worst, we can either if you have a, if you have like a save of like. I do have the, a save uh... where yeah. you know. My God. Uh... I do understand the difficulty of these games. So there's no worries, just in case. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> it's just how to do it. Maybe we can do something for marathon's sake, and uh, I will show, hopefully, this section and the auto-scroller section, which is the snake part. We can totally skip that with the save, uh, because it's quite a long and boring part. Right. Definitely, it doesn't add other than just a little surviving a lot, but not nothing too much. Like, definitely, you don't miss a lot if you don't watch that. Exactly. It's just the dragons. You've seen them twice. twice now. Yep, you're familiarized with that. So yeah, this probably will be my last try on this section. Yeah. Hopefully, I have a a nice armor. And it's just these guys. It right, happens to the best of us. No worries. Yeah, in case it doesn't work out, we'll just load up. Uh, I think it's level four. Yeah, yeah, we'll go jump yeah. straight ahead to level four. Oh my god! <laughs> I do want to remind everyone as well that, you know, these things do happen. A lot of the speed running, like, we do see a lot of the uh, completed efforts that kind of come up in a lot of these games, especially today, are really, really difficult. So, I just do want to send a reminder of that. You've done a great job so far, TMR. I yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad about myself. I know how difficult is this, and only probably people who play this game know how difficult yeah. this really is. And the fact that it's very RNG, like, it's just shines on skills. Well, except for dying here, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's really hard to, to see anything here. As well, I can also use this as a, a nice point to uh, advertise one of our GDQ shows. Uh, we actually have one called The First Step that shows kind of a lot of um, different just trials and errors that can happen in speedrunning. Even when we kind of hit the greatest efforts in some of the games, like, there just can be troubles in some levels. That's See, okay. like, I grabbed that wall thing, right? Yeah. That means I was really short in the jump. And I could have almost died there. So I made it to the checkpoint of the snakes. I feel happy and proud of myself. I'm gonna return to map now. And actually right. I should just go back to the save file that we have. Yep. Uh, to skip the whole snake section. So yeah, that was a uh, no marathon that. safe thing. The, the auto scroller, it can be like a, a lot of segments. Uh, so we just skip straight to the next level. Boom, we're still... <laughs> <laughs> Still neck to neck to the estimate. All right, this one, we, I spawn a guy that I shouldn't spawn by hitting that eye. All right, this stage is also probably the most feared one. The most feared one, a lot of RNG. You want to get rid of, of certain schools. You want to don't get hit on, oh my God. Right, what do you have for me, game? Show me, show me what you have. Oh, this is not good. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that burrito is... No! Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. There's no way I can get rid of that red Armir. Yeah. And he's gonna be... His eyes? He's gonna be down all the way. There's no way I can survive that. And you don't have really checkpoints. I'm gonna retry here. Uh, there, there's no way you can survive there. There's he no way. Just, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a way, but... Uh, man, that... Those spawns! Yeah, this is... This is not the dream scenario as well. That's why, like, all the shoots that you see here are quite precise. And you hope also for good RNG on those uh, schools. Sometimes they can look like this. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> hitting eyes that I shouldn't be hitting. All right. Okay, this is looking way cleaner. <sighs> so only a little bit more to go. Dude, I don't want that burrito there. Okay. 
He's been following you the whole time. Yeah. All right. So you definitely want to stay there in the left because that eye is a red Arremir again. If the game is not mean enough, put a red Arremir that you cannot hit at all. So here I'm going to try something. I need that guy to shoot. He didn't shoot. So this is a bad RNG. Oh, wow. I managed to freaking build a champ there. All right, Very I'm nice. proud of myself. Usually I get hit there. Good thing I didn't get hit. Bad thing. In order to get the gold armor. Also, chat's been very proud of you. I've been seeing a lot of TMR chanting, and uh, they're very happy with the uh, the completion of that one checkpoint and this whole section right here. Yeah, it definitely looks really nice if, if you yeah. can show it off. But, uh, but that yeah. one, uh, that one golden dodge was pretty pretty dice. Like it was. I don't know how that worked. I have, in practice, I have never dodged. Do Dude, uh, is, what is that gonna be? A, a troll, and I was watching the troll instead of watching the screen. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, uh. My god. We might have to do exactly the same. Nice, now the red dudes. Well, I mean, I don't know. How, how much time did we add to the estimate? Uh, we're at 40 minutes for estimate. You're, right now you're like 25 minutes. Okay. 40 yeah, you have plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. 40, 40 were fine. Yeah. If I don't we'll screw up, on right? Ah, man. My heart tells me go YOLO. Yeah. The reality is don't go YOLO. One of the big things we uh, enjoy in the GDU Hotfix is definitely just being able to self-care, so... I want to make sure you're nice and comfortable. You don't have to worry too much. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm comfortable. I mean, it's not the first time I fell in a video game, right? And this is hard, exactly. so in my defense, I, I have nothing to of feel course. bad about, but... Exactly. But yeah, it's hard as hell, this game. The fact right. that you're pretty much on the, uh... What, you've gone to... How much? Two hours of playing and you've beaten the game once, and now you're on the fourth level, which is probably one of the hardest levels in the past ten years of gaming. Pretty good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to spawn a chest here. Alright, uh, so... The reason of that spawn is because the next one should be an armor. I'm not giving a damn about anything except my armor up there. Oh my god, man. <sighs> oh, it went down. Yeah, this is not the dream. My god, man. Okay. I'm definitely gonna take my time this time. I mean, who cares about saving one second? Oh, still not good, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so hard to hit those things on the bottom. No, All right. Slugs. So we did get a hit. There's a chest that I don't have a clue what it's gonna contain. <sighs> okay, what to do? I, I think the checkpoint's at the top, right? Or is that... No, there's no checkpoint. This there is no checkpoint. That's there the thing. There is no checkpoint. That's the thing about this game. Beautiful. Well, actually... I forgot about the legend. Uh, yeah, they give you no checkpoint in this one. Yeah. It doesn't give me a checkpoint. But there is an armor, I think, on, like, the first guillotine. I forgot all about that on legend. Yeah, they don't give you any checkpoints on level four. That's just be, like, the... Uh, the mean the, twist of this level. That would be the third chest. The thing is, that I got hit, I grab a chest. I got hit, I don't have a clue what's gonna be now in the chest count. We will see. We will see. That'll be good. That'll be good. No, we are not good. We're not good. Oh. I don't even know what the the next chest will be. Oh my god. And right here, it's gonna be the most difficult thing ever. My god. 
Dude! <sighs> yeah, I think we should skip. <laughs> ah. All it's, good. Yeah. I'll yeah, let you want to give this one one more go. If you want to go to level five, there's no shame in that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can give it a go. I mean, if you want, it's definitely... All entirely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. It's, ju it's just really rough. It's just really rough. Also, those things decide to jump whenever they feel like. Oh, okay. So sometimes you have to wait, sometimes it jumps right before, like that one, right one, to that one too. Uh, so hopefully, now that I have the full armor here, I might show the, the actual strat that... Uh, that is like a speedrun strat. <laughs> it's definitely not the safest one, but it's a cool one here. Like if this guy decides to shoot, you can jump and then jump above him. So that's how you do it, to so don't get a hit. Ah, all right, I didn't spawn the armor. So yeah, you definitely want to to plan your chest, uh, but yeah, if possible, you want to to have the, ch the third chest uh, for the very next one, but for me, it's gonna be the second chest. Finally, we got a good RNG here. So this is how it usually looks like, like really easy to fight. Not a big deal. It's definitely really good way. Fight. Huh? Really good fight? Yeah, that's usually what you want. It's RNG if it goes up or down. And that's definitely the good RNG. All the other things, like you have to dodge, you have to, to plan and different things. All right, it's looking good. It's looking good, but we know these guys are random. Well, <sighs> You know certain things are gonna spawn. You don't know when exactly are they gonna move, how fast they're gonna move too, because those guys can move slow or fast. Plus, no checkpoints, that makes it really, really hard. Yeah. And quite annoying, this section. So, like, their enemies were not showing up because I was not moving ahead. So this is not the, the gold chest. I'm just gonna skip it straight away. Also, you want those guys to drop a weapon like uh, not on the way, not on your path. This time, we're not taking care of the one in the top, but yeah, like for example here. If there's that scissor that, oh my God, that guy that spawns right in your face. Being mean. All right, this is, this is the trickiest section. Dude, move, move, move! I wanted that guy to move so I can get this gold armor and... Oh uh. my god. Uh, it's just there's no time there to do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that guy from the top. Yeah, oh my this, god. It's just really mean, this. Like here, that guy also spawned there. <sighs> All right, we're surviving so far. Everything is going just as planned, right? Oh my god, man! Just as planned. Easy just game. Plan. Easy game. But you, you get to see why it's so freaking bad. Plus, no checkpoints. Lucky, once you get the golden armor, you have that extra hit, right? Or you have exactly. that extra troll, too, that can shoot you something that you don't want. All right. Okay, this is good. So ha having the doppelganger is nice because you can use it there and just make the safe jump. All right, glad at least I show one thing good. Okay, that was, that was more than good. That was amazing. You literally threaded the needle behind how many reapers the scissors coming out kept the gold armor. Yeah, actually that was Very a nasty RNG. Usually it's not that bad. I hope uh, chat can give the same claps that uh, I'm kind of giving you here. I don't do it too loud because it's pretty much us two in the call here, but very good job. Okay, so we're through this level. 
because this is legend the next level also is gonna be quite uh, quite hard yeah I must say uh, The good thing we have the doppelganger, so I'm gonna use it at the beginning. There, there is like a yellow strat uh, that I'm gonna try to use it. Okay, you see that almost hit me, that guy. But that, that's part of the yellow, but the yellow comes right here. Like, if you didn't slow down and you just jump like crazy, then there's a chance you can go here. Like, just like that, totally yellow. Hey. Ah, to spawn that chest, more YOLO. <laughs> I should just play safe, honestly. Armor. Yeah, that's gonna give me the gold armor. I just got a skip of that pig, and that's actually really rough, very difficult. There was only one person, well, two people doing that. Uh, here I'm gonna take my time a little bit. Okay. Uh -oh. So you want to keep this gold armor, but this can be very, very trolly. Reason number one, the path. Reason number two, it can troll you. It's your jumps and stuff like that. But having the gold armor is quite nice. Uh, well, there is the hell hole open just because the save file. But don't worry. Okay, here, you just want to go. I mean, and here I'm gonna just use the old safe strat. Well, it's not an old safe, but... Okay, that guy didn't slow me down. I didn't go that dragon in top of my face. This is exactly what you want. Hey. We have the gold armor. Now we need to kill the boss, right? Yep, we have Astroth and uh, Lucifer. Yep. So now let's hope for the best here. Let's go. I have seen people going deep here and that guy is out of reach. Nice. Oh, well, I mean, it's nice in a way. Yeah. If, if you kill it too fast, yeah, you he... cannot get the doppelganger here. But I just barely had time to convert it. That's not the proper height you want, but it's looking good. It's looking good. There you go. Okay, okay. Wow. Now just Lucifer. This level flew by. Yeah, with the gold armor, the levels look like the levels. The bosses yeah. look like a joke. And we got the skip there as well. And I forgot what All to right, do. All right, final boss. I think time comes up at a certain point once he's, uh, once he's down. That guy is not cooperating at all. Uh, it's not cooperating. Okay, it's cooperating now. <laughs> okay, and time. Woo! That was... God, the, the back half, like, the moment, see? It all works out. That level literally just... All the yellow strats, the gold armor, you jumped over to the guy. Uh, Astroth, no damage. Yeah, that last Very stage... Nice. That last stage was really, 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 really good. Like... Yeah, like... That is just peak playing. That is kind of wild. Yeah, I mean, for, yeah. for for skipping part of a stage, I, this room was actually good. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, these it's, things it's, happen. You did very good. Yeah, it's extremely difficult. So I'm, I'm really happy you guys were here watching this. It's definitely not easy at all. Uh, it, Legend is, is the hardest thing in this game yeah. so far. There is no need for like low percent or anything. It's still quite hard. It's possible to do it low percent, uh, which will be without magic. But, but yeah. that's that's for another time, another point in time. Right now, what we have is difficult enough. I'm glad I pulled it off. Thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we have more really amazing runs. The original one, I believe, is coming up. Th thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, we have that one moment. Uh, before I get to that, though, uh, you have any shout-outs you want to give to anybody? Well, 
I want to thanks to you because originally, well, we, we didn't plan like you will be commentating and you did quite well, like uh, supporting here, like uh, Thank you. transferring the the questions from chat. I also want to shout out the well, the community of of this game, which is brand new. I hope more games pick more games, more people pick up this game to play it. Uh, there's a few Japanese uh, players that have been pushing this game down. Uh, it definitely needs more love. It's quite a difficult one, but it's, it's quite rewarding. Uh, I want to thank the Mexican Wave watching there in chat, people who stay up late, and, uh, and yeah, GDQ for putting always great, great events. All right, and then as well, I know I asked earlier as well, but this is a reminder, if anyone wants to find you on Twitch, YouTube, anywhere, where can they find you? Yes, of course, uh, people can find me in the, my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash the Mexican runner. Uh, there you will see really awesome stuff, uh, crazy stuff too. Uh, some casual, casual speed gaming like currently some Commodore 64 games. And, and yeah, that's quite interesting. Not many people get to see those awful games done beaten. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, right there. Thank right. you so much. Well, thank you again for being on. You did an amazing two runs, and it was, a it was definitely fun to see a legend in action. Anyway, yeah. well, we're going to go to a quick wellness break. We're going to be right back very quick. Do not go anywhere. We're going to go back to the uh, the roots of Ghost and Goblins. We're going to be seeing uh, the original game uh, as the finale for our show. So we're going to be right back very quick. Don't go anywhere. All right, we are back. We've had a phenomenal showcase to run so far. A lot of good stuff. We've had professionals, we had our legends, and now we're going to be taking it all the way back to the beginning, back to 1986. Uh, the roots of probably one of the most difficult games ever made, and as you saw all the past few runs, there's been uh, a very challenging uh, series of platforms and, well, ghosts and goblins. And that's what we're all going back to. We're going to be doing the, as the finale of today's show, the original Ghost and Goblins with Laxus. All right, take it away. All right, hello everyone. I'm Laxus and this is Ghost and Goblins on the NES. So the, the origin to the series, or, or rather, I mean, the original was arcade. This is the port to the NES. Um, it's probably a bit relaxing um, in comparison to what we just saw TMR do uh, <laughs> Resurrection on Legend Mode is quite something else. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this game is definitely... It's a tough moment, well. Yeah, definitely. This game is definitely not easy either, but um, I think in, in comparison to <laughs> Legend Mode, uh, it's, it's going to be relaxing. Uh, d did you ever try this game? I know you... I try. I see. I'm always get confused with the versions of the game. I think I played one of them, but it may have been the arcade one. Yeah, I mean the the arcade one definitely looks better. Um, I don't think. I it think that's the one I tried. Better, I don't know how different it is though. But um, it it definitely looks a bit better than this one. <laughs> All right. Anyway, though, um, in terms of time, uh, just let us know when you want yeah. to begin the run, and then uh, just like do three, two, one, and then on your count, we'll be ready to go. Yep. We'll just go into it. I do a hard reset my run so it's very important and then we will go i will count you down all right all right classic story trying to save the princess and three two one go all right so um this is in comparison very basic. Also, my cat is in front of my PC. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Um, now I can see again. So uh, this is very basic in comparison. Uh, we can't shoot like up and down. Uh, we uh, don't have any. Oops, that's bad. Magic. Um, okay. <laughs> Didn't die. Um, hey. We don't have any magic, we don't have any armor upgrades that give us additional power, so um, all we have is this one hit with the armor, that's all it does, so we will use it for several damage boosts throughout the run. Um, coming up is the first boss, uh, the unicorn, 
uh, pretty simple. Um, you can shoot fireballs or jump at you, but uh, it only takes 10 hits, so pretty simple. All right, uh, let's talk about why I did a hard reset at the beginning. Um, that I was is actually curious on that, so... Yeah, that is yeah. to um, set up my RNG. Um, so when I start from a hard reset, so from powering off and on the console, I always start on the same RNG seed. Uh, so the normally random enemy spawns are completely known to me. They are always the same. So as long as right. I don't mess up, I keep my seat um, on an optimal run throughout the whole game. So I have no random spawns, it's all set for me. And that is very important, especially in the beginning to do stuff like this here. I hope I don't mess it up now. So because I know where these guys are and how they move, I can just skip them all completely and then take the top exit out of the house. It's a little bit faster. <laughs> you just like face to the roof. Yeah, I mean, somehow the house doesn't have a ceiling, so we can do that. Um, so yeah, that, that is very important um, throughout the whole run, basically. The most important part for me is always just beginning with stage two, because uh, that house is such a pain normally. Anyone that plays that game casually knows how much of a right. pain that is. Also, we have two unicorns now. Uh, they can sometimes cause some trouble, but they were nice. Awesome. So, as a question, uh, what what made you want to run Ghosts and Goblins? Um, that's a good question. I, I played it a few years back casually for the first time. Like, it was not a game I played as a kid. Um, but I played it a few years back and beat it after a while. <laughs> um, and I, I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people hate this game and it's pretty hard and all that but I enjoyed it and at some point I was I was thinking about a new speed game and I actually tried learning another game first which I didn't like so um, and somehow I decided to give this a try and um, well it ended up being a very long grind actually in the end that led me to the world record eventually. Okay, also I will try to skip this Arima here, perfect. If you time your jump right, you can jump past him. And uh, when Arimas, when you don't attack them, they start dancing at some point. Um, and when they dance, they follow you horizontally, but not vertically. So by going up the ladder, I can just scroll him off screen and he's gone. So, uh, really quick, I have uh, two questions for you. Uh, yeah. One of them is going to be from chat. Um, have you ever beaten the game Makai Mura on the Famicom? Uh, that's a, a Japanese version of this game. It's. I haven't played it too much. Um, it's, it's basically the same game. It's honestly a little bit harder. Um, you have enemy spawns are more frequent, so the RNG seed I use for this run would not work on the Japanese version. Um, and some weapons, the, the torch for example, um, shoots slower, if I remember correctly. So it's a, it's slightly harder, but it's generally the same game, so um, I would think I would be able to beat it. <laughs> but I haven't really played much of it, because this one is just a better version for speedrunning. Are you floating? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean... Oh. That's that's pretty normal. So when when you stay yeah. on the on the edge of that platform, um, and the platform moves back, you normally would just fall down. Um, but when you duck, you just stay in the air for as long as you duck. It it does nothing for you, but it always looks cool. So I always do it. All right, it didn't look very cool. I was wondering if it was like intended or if it was like a strategy behind it. No, it's just, and just then uh, the other fun. question I had though was uh, I know a lot of people uh, this whole this whole night I have been reading one comment very much, which is get the knife, get the knife, and I uh, don't get the knife. 
<laughs> okay, that answers it. Uh, I was going to ask, like, uh, is there, like, a weapon preference that you want? Uh, earlier you had the lances, but now you have the torch. Are we going to stay with the torch, or are we going to be hopping to something else? So we, we will we'll hop a little bit. Um, uh, but before I answer that, real quick, this is an important trick. I will do a very important damage boost here. That is definitely not intended. And what this one does is it basically makes the whole stage free. Also, my cat wants to be on the stream. <laughs> um, so what this does is no more enemy in the whole stage will spawn. I will just run through a empty stage right here. The only <laughs> thing I still have left is the boss. Um, the reason for that is at the beginning of the stage, normally you would have to go to the right and there's a ton of skulls and other enemies that are already spawned in. And because I never kill them, because I skip them, um, there's not enough room in the memory to spawn additional enemies, so uh, nothing else spawns, and um, yeah, on only the boss is left. The boss luckily spawns, so we can kill him. Hopefully I don't die, because this uh, death would feel very bad. Satan you is... Do have any idea how that was found? Mm, no, I, I don't know. It, it's been found before I started running the game, so oh, I good. unfortunately I like don't to... really know. It's very neat. Also, from what I remember properly, I think like you run like a lot of like side-scrolling platformers, right? Like, cause I think I remember, uh, I remember your name from Bloodstained. Yeah, uh, that, that's true. Um, like for a long time, my my main game was Bloodstained: Curse of the Moon, the first one. Um, right. And yeah, side-scrolling platformers are pretty much what I mostly run. Okay, um, I wanted to talk about the weapons, but ooh, the burrito was always almost in my way. Um, but we have another very important damage boost coming up here. And one is actually even crazier. So we go on this wall, we wait a bit, and then we jump up here. And skip huh. most of that stage as well. This is probably, like, the hardest stage normally. And then we also have a nice trick to uh, fight these guys. We just stand in the corner here, and the shield has um, uh, the property to block projectiles, so um, we don't get hit by their uh, shots. And for some reason, they can't go to the edge of the screen. It's a bit weird. Satans are actually just worse than Arimas, <laughs> even though they are the bosses. Uh, kind of weird. Okay, uh, boss of first loop, uh, nothing to say about this one, so I will talk about um, weapons. First loop done in under nine minutes, that's good. For the weapons, though, there's a very important question from chat. Okay. What is the cat's name? The cat's name is Fluffy. Fluffy? Yeah. <clears throat> I like that name. All right, um, I wanted to talk about weapons. Um, right. <laughs> like three stages ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, you start with the lance, and um, the lance is fine. It's just a worse knife, honestly. I will get the knife right here, by the way. Um, but I have to switch away from the, um, from the lance because the... Uh, um, dragon boss is immune to the lance. Every boss has uh, immunity to one weapon. And... How would you... Uh, go ahead. Uh, no, no, I ask your question. How would you beat the dragon otherwise if you didn't have the lance? Like, if you went in there with a the lance, like, is there a weapon swap, or do you just die? There's right before, um... The dragon, there is a, a torch drop. And most people say it's a troll, but it's actually the best weapon. Um, so you pick up the, the torch every time there. Um, so the point with the torch, a lot of people think it's a bad weapon, but and it is if you don't know what you're doing, because then it's very punishing, because when you, when you miss, it just leaves a flame on the ground, then you can't shoot again, because it still counts as your weapon on screen. Um, but it is actually the best weapon against the later bosses because it has this upwards arc. And 
all these bosses later on, they just fly above you and you can hit them way better with um, the torch than with the knife. And then of course for stage 6 I have to switch to the shield. Oh, what is he doing here? He was not supposed to be here, okay. That's, uh, that's a death. Um, so you have to get the shield. If you beat stage 6 without the shield you get sent back to stage 5. So that's fun. Um, and like I said, the shield can block projectiles, so it's it's kind of useful, but um, then again, you have to get rid of it again immediately on stage one, because the unicorn is uh, immune to um, the shield. And it just works out that the first drop I get on uh, stage one on the second loop is... Uh, Oh, I missed. It's the knife, so we used the knife for a little bit. Uh, I will switch to the torch again. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I did a few um, damage boosts again <laughs> to, to get through the house without actually doing it. Because that place is evil. So Arthur tell just, like, exist in the walls of the house. Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, also, you can manipulate these platforms a little bit by scrolling them off screen and back on. Um, then they decide again if they want to go up or down, but it's still it's still RNG, so they are a big pain. Okay, I hope he doesn't throw me. Okay, I got lucky there. Okay. Um, on the second loop, these unicorns are scary. Um, if they decide to kill you and on the second loop they can just run at you and then you, there's nothing you can do. Like because of the damage boost you always uh, get there without the armor so one hit and you're dead. dead. Um, right. So that fight is one of the scariest. Although that does lead me to a question. So earlier you mentioned like with the uh, the enemy RNG, like you reset the game for that. How does dying affect the enemy RNG? Is it always be like a stable seed, or like it just kind of throw everything into like a wrench? Um. So the way it works is it it only like it changes when additional enemies spawn. So um, like if I die in a section where there's no random enemy spawn, like some enemy spawns, like this burrito right there or this one, they, they are fixed. They are always there. Um, so if I get these spawns the second time because I die here, um, then it doesn't change anything. But if I, oops, if I die in a section with random spawns, I would get additional random spawns because I do that section again and that would screw up my, uh, my RNG seed. I mean, I'm not on it anymore anyway. Oh my god. So I messed up earlier. <laughs> and this guy apparently is too hard. Oh my god. We will get through this one. Arimas. I mean, they are the hardest part of the game. Okay, this one gave me a better pattern. Um, but the RNG seed only, um, like, determines the, the spawns, like enemies, like bosses or these arimas are still random. Gotcha. Um, so you still have to watch out for that. Also, I'm gonna skip him this time. Uh, it's it's a lot risky on the second loop, so I didn't wanna try that. <laughs> but it worked out, I guess. Oops. Okay. So, between loop one and loop two, how much of the game changes? Right? With, like, more enemies, harder... Actually, not much. Um, the difference, I, I think the difference between loop one and two is relatively small. Um, like, it's basically just enemies get, um, oops. Uh, this is not good. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to find a Rima and a dragon. Right. No, also, oh my god. Torch. You talk oh. Oh my god. There's the torch you talked about with the, uh, the dragon. Yeah. Oh my god, I game over it. What um, happens after game over? I have to 
press select twice so I don't start a new game. <laughs> Okay. Very important. <laughs> I always wonder that like continues, like how generous it is it on these older games. Now you have unlimited continues in this game. Really? Yeah. I can actually speedrun this game then, because my problem is dying. I do that a lot. Yeah, then you have no problem. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh god. Uh it's a bit weird doing this with a torch, honestly. Um, yeah, I... what was I, I, I think I wanted to say something, but I forgot. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the, the, the loop two, um, loop two difference. Um, so it's very, very small. Um, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Um, it's just enemies are a bit faster and enemy projectiles are a bit faster. Also, um... Oh, nice, I missed. Arimas behave a little bit different. Oh my god. Okay, hey, Arima's not being nice. Well, this one is uh, wrecking me right now, but... All good. We'll get through this eventually. <clears throat> yeah. I do want to mention, by the way, like, I know on, like, my end, watching all these games today, um... I don't think I've ever beaten Super Ghost. Actually, I, I barely played that one. I like watching that one. Uh, I think I've only ever gotten to, like, level 5 in this game. Uh, so, and also for Resurrection. I actually did beat that one, but I just know watching uh, all the runners today doing these games, it is immensely impressive from my end, at least. And I think a lot of chat feels the same. Yeah, those games are all not very easy. <laughs> that, that's for oh, sure. Yeah. Um, I, I think casually um, Super Ghouls is easier than this one. Because of the double jump? Yeah, the, the double jump and... Um, oh, I thought he was gone. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Okay. Um, and the, the magic. The magic is pretty strong in Super Ghouls, and if you use that right, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Okay, let's try this again. It's so weird. I'm not used to fighting this guy with... Uh, with the torch, exactly. Okay, there we go. We made it. Uh, hey. Also, um, you might think this jump here is a bit weird, but um, <laughs> there's a chance that this guy shoots an invisible shot that would hit you and also mess up his own pattern. Uh, by jumping at that spot, I always avoid it. Um, I, I don't know why, but these dragons like to shoot out invisible shots sometimes. If I know anything from Super Ghouls and Ghost, he's storing a shot to do more damage later. I actually got to use that from earlier. I remember that fact. I don't get to do that very often. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it past stage three. That's, that's nice. Uh, sometimes, like, deaths in this game can be, can be pretty rough um, and very punishing. Um, like in this case, not, not only it was like a long way back, I also had to use a weapon that I usually don't use for that section. So right. It's a bit weird. Um, oh my god. Also, in general. Also, I guess um, another question hmm? with all the different versions, because like I know there's NES, Arcade, Genesis. Uh, do all the tricks work the same, or is there like version differences that make NES the superb version? Uh, Genesis is uh, actually in a different game. Really? Yeah. Um, there's a second arcade game, it's called Ghost and Ghost. And that was ported to uh, Mega Drive and or Genesis and several other platforms. It, it's a different game. Um, it's uh, like the, the stages in Resurrection are um, basically um, influenced by stages from this game and from the Genesis game. Right. Uh, and between this and the arcade version, it's it's very different. Oh, the troll pattern. I, I was ready for it. <laughs> um, I don't think these uh, boosts work in the arcade version, so you have to play the game properly. <laughs> 
Um, but I, I don't have enough experience with the arcade version, honestly. Still anything to know. Still, still very some neat stuff. Yeah. So now I just walk through the empty stage again. Um, like after the initial boost, I picked up um, an extra money bag uh, that was a little bit out of the way. Um, and I got an enemy spawn. That means I didn't need to pick that up. But um, I pick it up for safety because on some patterns, um, if I don't pick it up, uh, the platform that I need to go across would also just not spawn. <laughs> so you want to avoid that. All right. Loop two for this guy. Oh, he also gave me the troll pattern. Oh my god. They are all out to troll me, but I was ready. Um, it's very rare that he does this very low swoop and then you have to duck immediately. But the problem is if you duck immediately, you are above the ladder. So you just go down the ladder again and die. <laughs> so <laughs> you actually have to move a little bit to the left very quickly and then duck. Uh, Luckily, I managed to do it, because otherwise it would be another two minutes wasted. Oops. And I'm just loving all the damage abuses. We're just getting over, like, oh, massive dear. chunks of the stage here. Yeah, that is that is the good thing about this game. Uh, since the armor really does nothing for you, like in Super Ghouls, you wouldn't want to do damage boosts. Um, Troll pattern because the armor just gives you so much um, power. So, so in this is a question for anyone who wanted to like learn this game. Like, would you start by trying to do the damage boost, or would it be safer just to kind of like beat the game with armor on so you don't die as much? Honestly, these damage boosts oh my god um, make these stages easier, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh my god, I right. really trolled there. That is so rare that that happens. Oh my god. Oh. It's unfortunate. Hey, these things happen. We'll get through this. Is this... I think we're nearing the final boss. Yeah. Oh, another troll Indeed. spawn. <laughs> they keep spawning right on top of me. The burritos are not nice. No, they are never nice. But they have the best uh, sound effect. In this game. Also, wait, can the unicorns loop around the screen? Because I keep seeing them on like the right and the left, or is there just two? Uh, no, that's just, I think, NES limitations, which is... Oh. But they can... I they was can... worried, like, is he... No, no, no. But they can just walk off screen. Um, and take forever to come back. It's really fun when you actually want to kill them. Okay, let's try this again. At least the Arima was nice. Um, they can also be trolly and just kill me on the second loop. Everything that involves Arimas is a lot yeah. scarier on the second loop. Because uh, they, they have different patterns and... Okay, there, there we go. Okay, we are, we are ending, uh, nearing the end. Um, Unfortunately, this game doesn't have like an extra final boss or anything, so um, I just get to fight the final boss again from the first loop, which is like the easiest boss in the whole game. <laughs> so uh, get ready on time when it turns right. black. And time. That was really fast on like... Yeah, I guess you, you're right, the final boss just dies, doesn't he? Yeah, it... <sighs> It is really weird. Also, you get secret credits if you, um, on this screen, put in A, B, up, down, A, B, left, right. I don't know why they didn't want to show the credits otherwise, but um, enjoy your three seconds of credits here. <laughs> Wait, so just this part or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that... yeah. Huh. That, that only shows up if you put in that code. But why? I, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they, uh, <laughs> they were not happy with what they did. It, themselves i don't know all right well i don't say really good job uh time looked to be a 2450 eh, at, at least sub uh sub 25 yeah i i hey, you did a great job that like that flew by that was really good yeah i think stage stage three on the second loop was rough but apart from that it, it was a it was a decent run um 
there's, there's a lot of stuff that can just go wrong in this game and um, usually deaths are just really costly like not only getting back to where you were but also um, like after each death watching the map screen alone is 15 seconds in this game and you can't skip it <laughs> right. it's, it's great <laughs> All right. Um, well, I always have a couple questions whenever we uh, finish up here. So first, do you have any shout outs you would like to give to anybody? Well, uh, first, thanks to you and GDQ for having me here. Thank um, you. Always a fun time. Um, then to the whole GNG series community, uh, a lot of great people that I got to learn uh, through it, uh, get to know through this whatever I'm talking. Um, <clears throat> even though this game in particular really doesn't have that many runners, maybe we get a few more <laughs> at some Possibly. point. Possibly. It looks like a very fun game to run in all honesty. Like, I like all the damage abuses. It's really neat. Yeah, it's, it's honestly not that bad. Um, like, for, for example, stage 5 gets a lot easier with the damage boost than what you would do casually. Um, stage 6 damage boost is maybe a little bit trickier, but... Um, it is probably an easier game to speedrun than to play casually. Uh, but yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah. As well, if anyone wanted to find you on Twitch, YouTube, anything, where can they find you? Yeah, they can find me on uh, twitch.tv slash Lexus. Um, yeah, I stream mostly speedruns. Um, currently a, a lot of NES stuff. Um, and li Like we said earlier, um, I mostly do stuff like 2D platformers, side-scrolling platformers, stuff like that. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, I do want to thank you again for showing off Ghosts and Goblins. It's nice kind of looking at the uh, the intro of the series and one of the earliest like horror-esque games out there. So I do want to say thank you. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's interesting to see how the um, series in general evolves. Um, yeah. Like from this very very basic game where you like basically just shoot and take one extra hit uh to like having double jumps uh shooting up and down using magic and all kinds of stuff it's it's interesting all right anyway i do want to say thank you again and uh, i think we're all about uh we're all about done with uh this this week's episode of speedruns from the crypt we saw a lot of different spooky games out there. I guess they're all ghosts and goblins. A lot of different ghosts, goblins, and ghouls and the various different enemies. A lot of Aremers. I think the main thing I learned today is that the Aremers are mean. I think that's the large lesson to be had from all of this. That's true. Anyway, Actually, though, one, one, oh, one fact I have to say. This game doesn't have goblins. It's, it's a lie in the title. Wait, it doesn't have a single goblin at all? Nope. There are ghosts, but no goblins. It's, it's all oh. fake. <laughs> Okay, so we have ghosts and not goblins, then. I like that fact. Anyway, though, I do want to say thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the showcase of different uh, ghosts, not goblins and ghouls. And uh, as well, if you want to watch any of the GDU Hotfix programming, information for all our shows can be found at gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix, where we have a big variety of different shows. And tomorrow we'll be having the first step starting around 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, as well, uh, if you all like to keep up to date on various info of the show, you can always check me out. I'm McDysis. Uh, you find me at twitch.tv slash McDysis, and I guess just Twitter, same name. My name's hard to spell. There's a C in it. But I do want to say thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful night, and I hope that you will join us for a raid. We're going to raid an interesting game. I think it's uh, one you don't get to see very often. So anyway, have a great night, day, whatever time it is for you, and stay spooky.